Hello, you guys. Hello, hello. Today has been eventful. Hello, everybody. Hey, Jenny. Hello, Peachy. She went on a visa run to Canada just in case she couldn't get back into Kuwait. She would be somewhere safe. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. This is what I think. I think she knew what the hell she was doing, and that's why she shouted out her PayPal, her cash app. She made her visas really believe they were going to be helping furnish an apartment and everything else. It was a cash grab. She was broke. She was broke. But Jenny, I think you're onto something too. Like you are oftentimes right. So <laughs> Sage, hello. Hello, Emma Hobbs. Hey, everybody. Hold on. Let me pull up the chat on my phone. Hold on one second. One second, you guys. I think I saw Christian is here. Hey, Christian. Good to see you. Hello, Mrs. Carlet. Hello, SumDTMHC. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. I don't even know where to start because I planned on covering some now stuff too. So I guess let's start with Foodie's video where she does this whole guilt trip. It's really, really short. She lets us know she's going back to Kuwait and she's been busy community post raging. <laughs> this explains why she wanted people to send her money. Yeah, she was broke. She was broke. Sage. Okay, cool. My husband says she's gone back to Kuwait. I think she's moving in with P house divided over there. She wanted her stupid fans to pay for her flight back. Yeah. And if they stick with her, like they're idiots and they deserve to get their money taken. I'm sorry, but like, how many times are you going to give money to Foodie Beauty? Like we saw it with the cat situation where her, her beezers were literally sending her money to take her cats to the vet and she would blow it on weed. She'd go get her nails done. She'd go buy new underwear to go see Natter because she didn't believe in washing her clothes. Um, Natter would get a whole grocery haul, new shoes, new clothes, whatever he wanted. Um, I think I caused this rage. Courtney, you caused the rage? What happened? What happened? Hello, M. Hello, hello. It's now beyond ridiculous. She's going to... Okay, I don't care. Your mama clip this, whatever. It's the truth. It's the reality. And if you want to enable her ass, go for it. She's going to die there. She's going to die there. She, like, compared to where she was in Kuwait, like how she looked and everything, her lifestyle, her health, it wasn't amazing. But natter days versus now she's like 500 the times like the size that she was before and she has a million more health problems and then how do you go from being terrified of the heat because you're gonna die to like flying back to the heat <laughs> it's money right she's broke hello unhinged hello hello i pointed out every single thing she needed to do and the fact that she was basically committing deletion by choice with all her actions so yeah i think i caused the rage well good for you Good for you. Hello, Barry. So while she is community post-raging, she like, I don't know, she wants us to be so sad she's gone. To be honest, good riddance. There's only so many times I want to see you eat anyways. <laughs> like, good riddance. Do you understand? I have now to rage at me now. I don't need you. I don't need you, foodie. I hope people on her channel hold her accountable for what she said about Sam. Oh, yeah. And then that sick bee, like, selling a whole story. Oh, and I'm getting Sam back. Like, you're delusional. You and now both need to be in straight jackets and off to the mental ward for a very long time. I'm also glad. Yeah, well, I'm glad Sam is safe. Hey, Matthew, woof, woof. Who did Salah shit on this time? Teardrop. I heard it was Teardrop. <laughs> Should delete it all posts already. Well, that's okay. Good thing that I happen to have them on Twitter. Give me one second. Do you guys want to read the posts first or watch her BS video? I, I have time tonight, so whatever you guys want to do. Um, maybe her family nagged her to get help, whereas Salad, Salad just lets her eat. Well, here's the thing, too. I know in one of her community posts, she's like, and S Salah promised to take care of me. Yeah, he's going to take care of you until you're dead. And I don't just mean like 20 years from now. I mean like you maybe have a good year left of you. Do you realize you've become sicker being with this man? He doesn't care about you. He wants your check. If he loved you even an ounce, you wouldn't be eating yourself to death. If he loved you even an ounce, you would have got off YouTube sooner and got into some kind of rehab. Some kind of. You haven't seen it yet? I don't think she wrote that video at all. It's not the way she talk. Posts? Okay, post our video. I'm sorry. I went on a little talking spree again, and I didn't pay attention to what you guys wanted. <laughs> I sent the post. Oh, wait. Okay, I think I have most of them, but thank you. So if we don't have them on Twitter, I'll go back. Um, let me just double check. I want to see if we have the same ones. I see them right now. Um, okay. Okay. All right, her channel is going to suffer so bad along with her health. 
along with her health, we're just going to see her get bigger and bigger over there. More and more health problems. And I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm obviously still going to cover her if she's still uploading. But like, I don't really care, to be honest. Like, I'm not rooting for her anymore like I once was. Um, I have no sympathy for her. I don't really care. I And if you think that sounds mean and you just tuned in to me and you're new, like, She's came for my child, and once people do that, um, I'm unforgiving. I could forgive a lot. I could forgive a lot. But if you talk about my child in any way, shape, or form in a negative light, um, I, I just I have nothing left good to say about her. I'm sorry. I don't care if that's mean. I don't care what happens to her. Um, she's choosing. She's choosing all of this. This is the thing. It's not somebody who's like truly struggling to get better. And like, they're having these bumps in the road, you know, where you feel sorry for them and you're like, oh, I'm just rooting. It's this awful evil woman who scams and schemes. And that's all she, she's an animal abuser. She's a people abuser. Um, there's nothing good about her at all, at all. She's Violet from Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jenny. No, I think we all have the same thing. Like if she gets her shit together, cool. But if not, like, it's not like I'm going to feel bad. I just, I don't know. Um, I think, I don't know if you're a parent or even if you have like nephews or nieces or a dog you really love, like think of somebody talking about the one thing that you care about most in this world. Like, would you have any kind things to say? So go back to Kuwait, mukbang for another year, because that's probably all you're going to have left if you don't get your act together. Um, you've been warned. You've had people try to help you. You've shit on everybody who's tried to help you. So go go be miserable during the summer in Kuwait. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll be by the beach or in the air conditioning. I mean, those that's what I'm going to do. Good luck to you. She was never banned. That was a lie. Hey, Angel Ma. Good to see you. Hello, beautiful regret. Can't wait for the heat stroke art coming this summer. <laughs> it's coming. She can lie and manipulate like there's no tomorrow. There was no ban. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And if you're seriously feeling bad for foodie beauty at all, like, would, why would you feel bad for her after she did this? She's staying in Canada. She really needs to get her health together. <laughs> Send me PayPal so I can furnish my apartment. We're going to do this journey together. I'm getting Sam back. She has people send her donations and she's on her way back to Kuwait to spend it on him. Do you feel bad, Teardrop? Ghostface Gamer? Golden Girl? Whoever else is left in there? She took your money and ran. Literally, she took your money and ran. She just dirty deleted. Okay, I think what we're going to do, let's get that video out of the way because it's literally 48 seconds. Like, it's not like we're, you know, spending an hour on this. So let's go to her. We'll go to Twitter and then we'll talk about some now because a lot happened today. It was weird. It was weird. Like, I would leave and go live my life and come back and she was still in the tub raging. It was wild. All right, this is the quick update, and then let's go to Twitter and read the deleted posts. All right, and Jenny has them if anybody needs them or for whatever reason we can't get to them on Twitter, but I think they're there, and Jenny, I want to thank you for grabbing them. Okay. This is the part that supporters have threatened to unsub if I choose a direction in life they don't like. I say, please leave. I don't need fair weather followers. Boundaries, people. If any of you who sent me money for my new place here want it back, let me know and I will return it to you. No problem. If you've sent her money and you request it back, let me know if you actually get that refund. Because I think it's already going to be spent on Salah. Stupid. So she says this BS. I will focus on myself. I will take more of a break now. And like the B was literally community post raging. <laughs> so that was that. All right, let, let me go to Twitter, you guys. Um, it's gonna be a bit chaotic on there because there was other things I wanted to show you. So it's gonna be like a mixture of things, okay? Um, it was BS. I say farewell. Don't come back. Come back. I don't really care. 
have eight mukbangs. I don't, I just don't care. I don't care. <laughs> what she doesn't realize is like the shitty thing for her. Is she thinks everybody's going to be like, oh no, booty beauty, please come back. It's like, do you understand there's a drunk lady raging in a tub somewhere right now that we're going to talk about? Like, we don't need her. She is truly an awful person. She is. She is. She does need fair weather followers though, lol. She needs any followers she can get. That part right there. <laughs> I'm going to keep, uh, a lookout on her social blade. And if like they start, if her numbers start dropping, if people start leaving again, I think we'll do a stream just because it'll piss her off. She might pass away on her way back. She might. Somebody with that many health problems doesn't need to be all up in the air flying back and forth all the time. Like, let's just be honest. No one will miss you, foodie. We're already finding new dumpster fires. Several, several. It's, I don't know. She's stale. Don't really care. All right, let me figure out where we're going to go on Twitter because if you didn't know, this is how Foodie kept her villa. So people were really concerned about her getting Sam back um, because this is how she, this is how the cats lived. They lived in absolute filth. So thankfully she's on her way back to Kuwait and Sam will be safe, but I feel bad for Julia. I truly see her just cleaning up the areas she shows us on camera and the rest of her place in Kuwait is probably a disgusting mess, especially like with the sperm everywhere. So hold on. I got to figure out where we were. Milky Chai, though, I retweeted this, said I'm betting on Chantal already being back in Kuwait. That was eight hours ago <laughs> before Foodie because she took this break. We were wondering where she is. Some people thought she was snowed in. Some people thought maybe it was a health thing. Um, other people thought maybe she just was with her family and she couldn't stream. Um, just so you know, though, really fast, we're going to talk about now really fast. So remember last night, if you guys were in the stream, how she insinuated, well, actually, she said I was a prostitute. She told the whole world, I'm not, by the way, in case you were wondering, no, I'm not. But apparently I'm a prostitute. And she was talking about my pimp. And for a while, I was really confused because, like, racism just doesn't, like, register. Like, I don't think these things right away, right? Because, like, I'm not that kind of a person. But it took me a minute. And I'm like, are you implying that I'm a prostitute and my baby daddy is my pimp because the color of his skin? That's not wrong of me to ask because she drops the N-word all the time. She does. She does. She's done it a lot. So anyways, she tried to deny she was racist last night, yada, 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 even though she said the N-word before. She dropped it again today and had to delete her stream. So that's the kind of mood she was in today. She's vile and disgusting. That's another one I just don't feel bad for. And uh, Point and Laughing said, Nal is passed out in the tub after puking in it, broken glass on the floor. She threw her cell phone. People have called in a wellness check. What did your little cow do today? Mine went back to Kuwait. <laughs> Mine went back to Kuwait to die. Seriously, she went back to Kuwait to die. Um, anyways, so Highlight Grocery said, don't fall for any time now, says she hates how the trolls ran off Val, which is Enchanted Roses, if you guys didn't know. She just expressed her true feelings about Val and PG. Also, she leaves out the part of how she herself trolled Val. But that's another story. Point is, my sympathy for how Nell is waning. This is who she really is. Yeah. And this is a clip from one of her live streams today from, I think, oh, not pointing and laughing. I don't know. I can't say this name. Cyrilina? Cyrilene? I don't know. Naked and laughing, Queen Cobra, Cobra's girlfriend, is a childish 41-year-old loser who will waste your time. She streams from a bathtub and endlessly complains about how hard her life is. Her embarrassing moments are intentional and she is fully aware of how awful and annoying she is. I also have MFWT, you guys. That's coming. So this is a clip of Nell in her tub. Oh my gosh. Imagine living in somebody else's home and destroying it. I I don't know. She's just gross. Um, I just truly replayed this or posted this because I wanted to hear this clip. <laughs> I'm sorry. That clip just cracks me up. All right. So somebody said in Nell's chat, we're getting to the uh, foodie stuff. Don't worry. Um, this person cannot be serious. Like it's anyone's responsibility 
beyond Jessica's or her parents whose house she lives in if she dies in the tub at any given day, JFC. She shouldn't even be allowed to have a channel. And they said it because someone in her chat, Squishy Pants, said, Josh is in another state. He cannot help. You need to contact someone local to check on her. Mods need an emergency contact number. This happens frequently enough. You should be prepared and have plans. I don't think anybody should be on edge about Nal's behavior. I think Nal and her family that she lives with is responsible for that. Um, I don't think the mods should have to babysit Nal in the tub and make sure she's alive, truly. I know that water bill. Breezy humiliation kink. What else could it be with Nal? Maybe. With Foodie, for sure. With Nal, maybe. Um, so, oh gosh, this is MFWT and I couldn't resist. So we're going to find out more in this comment section. So Kimberly Cat said, hey, MFW just said she makes 3000 a week. She works for the union and she lifts transmissions with one hand. So I thought that was funny. And then me just being nosy. I looked in this comment section. Oh, please tell me it's still here. MFW has been uh, spotted at the truck stops. Like, no joke. I, don't, I mean, I guess there could be, but what? It, so anyways, this person said she was caught being that. So yeah, she could be making that much laying on her back, whatever. That's their words, not mine. But this is her. Is it not? Well, I'm not saying it, but saying she can't believe none of his supporters have bought him a car. She is using Air Duster. The thing is, like, she doesn't realize how dangerous her behavior is, like, or how dangerous, I guess, her actions are. Like, people drown in tubs all the time from overdosing, take, or, like, not necessarily even overdosing, like, taking too much of something, drinking too much, just passing out in the tub. You can drown in inches of water. So in a whole ass bathtub, it's not wise to be mixing things, dusting, whatever you're doing. Like, stay away from the water. I don't understand. Um, that, that looks like her, right? I don't know. She's making three grand a week. <laughs> Anyways, these, I just retweet what people are talking about, by the way, you guys. Um, it's not much more serious than that. So if you see somebody, you're like, eh, they talk shit about you. Like, I really don't care. I just retweet what people are talking about. Um, all right, let's find Foodie's community post. Let's go there really fast. The eclipse. All right. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting there. So P.I. said about her little video, see below for a slideshow. I guess we could have just done that instead of watching, but here we are. <laughs> All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to the first community post I see. Wait, not before I show this, though. It's wild to think that she's going to go back and gain even more weight, and this was her leaving. That's shocking. Bye, foodie. I guess it was nice knowing you. Um, have a good time for whatever time you have left. All right, here we go. So, foodie, I don't know what order these are in, you guys, okay? Um, but these are all her community posts. So, at some point during her rage, she said, And no, I didn't come here for a visa run. Why would I come here for that when it's too expensive? It's not your business about my visa status. I'm done with YouTube. You people need a damn life. Goodbye. I miss, oh, Jenny, thank you so much for the super chat. Hold on, I'm on my way back. I'm on my way back so I can properly thank you. Hold on, I gotta pull it up on my phone. Jenny, a coworker came in today and asked me about Foodie Beauty. I had no words to explain and now I'm super weird to him. <laughs> well, at least you're a gorgeous weirdo, Jenny. We're all weird. Okay. You're in good company here. Thank you so much for the super chat. How did you even like, what did you say though? I'm genuinely curious. I'm like, did you try to explain? <laughs> she came for Pennington's and an Easter basket and to take whatever back in them crevices. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Gonzo. I believe nothing she says again ever. Hold on. Let me find Gonzo. What did you say, Gonzo? I didn't see you come in. I can't believe I actually thought Foodie was staying in Canada. She makes me lose faith in humanity. I swear I should never believe in people. You just should never believe in foodie beauty. That's the good rule of them. Like, there's people out there who change all the time, who don't lie. You know, there's good people out there. Foodie isn't everybody. Just don't believe her. Don't believe her. Everything with her, there's an ulterior motive. 
And it's usually, um, how can I get more cash and more food? So Mosa, first of all, first of all, we knew it was a visa run because she's a tourist and not actually married. Secondly, Chantelle is a thief. She has no problem lying, deceiving, and defrauding people for money, knowing full well that this was a visa run, and she's going back to Kuwait. She's trash. She is. She probably picked up her replacement play button, maybe. She had to prove to Salah she could still earn money. But didn't, I mean, she didn't earn that much. I don't know how she's going to afford him. P.I. said this was always the plan. Foodie Beauty never intended to stay. It was a visa run, a chance to get her idiot visas to send her money, and an opportunity to get a wardrobe update courtesy of her mom, basically. And I'm sure she'll blame it on all her mentals, which she does. She admits she's psychotic. Okay. She also says, he cheated on you. We moved on. You know nothing. I cheated on someone I loved dearly also. And guess what? I learned and never did it since. People change. And besides that one incident, everything else is amazing about him. Mind your business. Stop judging things you know nothing about. It's funny you say he's amazing, foodie. You guys remind me I have a little something to play for foodie to remind her exactly who her husband is. <laughs> I just said woof woof. Um, this is interesting. Said you enormous sack of horseshit. If you want your money back, let me know, quoting Foodie. Yeah, just like the vet money and the money you begged for. Remember, we cry for food and shelter. Human filth. Libra Lies, or wait, said, Foodie Beauty is on thin ice with her health and flying back and forth is just making it worse. Her family must be over it at this point. They're probably relieved every single time she leaves. Let's see. I'm trying to find more community posts. Lizzie said, remember how the TVs kept disappearing in the Natter era? The Amazon TV that didn't get delivered? The postcard tier that never fulfilled a single postcard? When Foodie Beauty is low on cash, she will lie and steal without shame. That's exactly what she did. It was more than cheating. He is a grapist. Um, Mandy, I mean, I don't know that he is. I don't know that, but I know he fantasizes about it. And he was telling her Beezer he wanted to do those things to her across in a Bible. So um, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. Um, and again, I'm not kink shaming or anything like that. Like, I know people have fetishes, but I'm, I am going to side I <laughs> Great fetishes. I am. Because it's all about consent, right? Like, adults, consenting adults can do whatever the hell they want. But um, that I will side eye. Capone said, hi, work from work is the title a troll. I don't know. I don't even remember what I titled this. Do you mean was Foodie's title a troll? No, she's going back to Kuwait. They deserve each other. I'll never leave you again, Sam. That was long lived. Oh my gosh. Hey, Flower. Foodie's on thin ice at her weight. The ice still has to be decently thick because she hasn't fallen through yet. <laughs> Maybe that's why she left. She was worried she was going to fall through ice. All right, let's find more community posts. Here's another one. Your YouTube career will be over if you go back. Do you know how stupid that sounds? You think I give an actual crap if people don't want to watch me anymore because I'm doing something I want to do with my own life? Foodie, I think you'll care when you can't buy food. <laughs> That's like your biggest thing right now. That's like what you live for to eat. You're going to care. These people funded your lifestyle. Pretty much watching your videos, watching the ads, sending you donations. You have some nerve treating them like crap, but you know what? If they keep coming back, I guess they deserve it. So she says, da, 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 wanting to do something with my own life. Good riddance. Don't care. Never will. Eventually, I will rebuild a different audience anyway. What, all new feeders? As if you people think I'm going to live my life how a bunch of strangers online want me to. I am not more alive here. I am high here to deal with the depression. <laughs> So did she get really, really high and think it was a great idea to go back to Kuwait? <laughs> I think her stepfather told her mother either she goes or I go. I would. I don't care how long you, we've been married. You make foodie beauty stay with us. Like, I'm divorcing your ass. I'm taking the cat, whatever. Like, I'm leaving. I wouldn't live with her. I wouldn't. I don't care if she was my own daughter. If I had foodie beauty as a daughter, banned from my house. So Fupalina, which is dang Fupa, said, I'm Canadian. Weed is my culture. Weed is my birthright, quoting Foodie Beauty. So more of her saying, okay, now I'm done with YouTube for a while. And yes, this is a psychotic episode. I'm frustrated over putting my life out there for the entertainment of others. 
It's clearly not healthy. I'm tired of stupid people. To my supporters, Red Heart, see you later. You better hope you wake up tomorrow to see them later, miss. I'm eating myself to death. And, um, oh, I forgot about this thread. Let me just leave it up for a second here. Let me just leave it up for a second and hang out with you guys. How long was she in Canada? I don't even know. I haven't kept track of her over a week, right? I mean, like, we've been doing other things. I haven't been, like, really focused. And hold on, let me see. Let me see if I could just pull up her channel and see when she uploaded that she was there. A week, maybe? Hmm. I moved back to Canada, which was five days ago. Five days ago. Hold on. The two weeks-ish? I don't know. She uploaded I moved back to Canada five days ago. Why does it already seem like we've had a lifetime of her? <laughs> I don't know. That already seemed like a long time. She probably couldn't get an apartment of her own and her family doesn't want her to live with them. So she had nowhere to live. I believe that. I'm so disappointed. Not going to lie. Um, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you. I just wouldn't have faith in foodie beauty at all. Like don't ever believe anything she says and you won't get disappointed. She doesn't want to change. Oh no, Sunny again. I saw you ask me that yesterday and my response is still going to be no thank you. I don't know you. I don't want to spit or swallow you, but have a great night. <laughs> or do you mean in general? I'm still not answering, but <laughs> she's looking like a real scammer. She is. She is. Natter said no, and Pete stood up for himself and wouldn't sign a lease. Do you think Natter said no, or he used her for the groceries, and she thought there was going to be something there, and then realized, like, he's not leaving Dee Dee for your ass, so, <laughs> I mean, the possibilities are endless. Natter could have rejected her after he got shit from her. Her parents probably got sick of her ass. Salah so probably already was shitting on somebody else. I mean, green girl grink great coral hi she weighs so much money she does she does yeah she got disappointed i think so too i think i think there's a little bit of everything in there i think it could be multiple things right so so oh no natter said no imagine wanting him i just whatever you guys have to say about me out there who don't like me at least i never thirsted after natter or sent him my nudes so i'm doing okay in this world Koki, if you're watching, go starfish her. <laughs> oh my gosh, when even Natter doesn't want you, I don't know what that says. I mean, I guess I would go in hiding to Kuwait too. The amount of money she wastes is disturbing. It's just crazy. Like all her money goes to food or her fake husband. Like imagine making so much money on YouTube. Like I think like, I've never made 20 grand on YouTube, right? But, like, somehow I managed to just scrape by and do okay. <laughs> like, but hold on. So someone else is driving the Kia. Anyways, what I was going to say is at one point, like, she had all this money and she was doing okay. And, like, now she has to beg for PayPal donations. And, like, she has nothing to show for it. She has nothing to show for the 20 grand she, much, she once made. She doesn't have a house. She doesn't have her own car. She doesn't even buy her own clothes. Um all the money she gets in, she eats. She eats. Natter, just take one for the team. <laughs> but you also have to realize Pete's has been MIA too. I don't follow him. Hey, Eric, I don't know if I said hi to you. I said it in my head though. Are you guys really shocked though? Um, I just, I don't know that I really care. Like, this is like the reality of the whole situation. Some people never want to change. Some people don't want to get better. Foodie is one of those people. You're never going to change her mind. She's never going to see the light. She is stubborn as hell and she has a huge ego and her ego will be the death of her. She thinks she knows better than everybody else. So she's, I mean, being in Canada wasn't going to save her anyways. You really think that she's going to go to therapy. She's going to go to those appointments. You really think she's going to start a diet. She's never going to get approved for weight loss surgery. Like, either way, basically, she's screwed. Whether she's in Canada or Kuwait, like, her time is limited unless she changes her life. And I don't think she ever will. I don't think she ever will. She doesn't have it in her to want to change. Good night, Jenny. Thank you so much for the super chat. You got to get up early. We'll watch the rest on the re re replay. <laughs> okay, Jenny, have an amazing night, and I will see you tomorrow. We will be live again. 
same. I don't care. I'm glad we're all finding other cows. Yeah. From what I've been realizing from you guys too, like we've been talking about other people. We've been talking about now. We just went down this other rabbit hole with that Andrew Ditch person. Like the general consensus from everybody I've seen is like, thank God we're talking about other people. That's what I see from most of my subscribers. That's what I see like from everybody else. Everybody's just relieved to not have to watch her suck down another hamburger. She's a dead man walking. She is. She is. And all her beezers and the yo mamas of the world telling her she's doing amazing and patting her ass like you're enabling her to death, whether you think so or not. You are. You are. And hating on everybody else for speaking the truth and saying that she doesn't want to change. She'll never change. She's not capable of change. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's such. Have you seen her change anybody for the better? Have you seen her change at all or has she just got worse? So how many years has she been doing this? What, seven, eight? I don't know. I'm guessing around that time. And she's only getting worse. She's 40 now. I, I don't think she's magically going to be better tomorrow. I just, I'm not buying it. I'm also glad we talk about others over here and that we're not strictly a foodie channel. She's so boring. She's so boring. Hold on. I just want to pull one thing up while we chat a little bit more. Let me just go on this thread. I'm just giving the person who's probably watching this and our whole chat and going to cover this in about five minutes on their Twitter. I just want to make sure that they have some material to cover. <laughs> so just going to put this up while we chat a little bit. If you didn't know, that's Busy Little Bee's arrest record. Anyways, because you have a good heart, Capone. <sighs> um, okay, I'm out. Good night, Angel Ma. The cult of healthy at any size is just that, a cult. Um, I don't know. Necess I don't know necessarily. I mean, that's such a sensitive topic. I think that there's plus size people that are considered plus size, right? Because it's not like the 80s anymore where we all had to be rail thin and look like uh, Kate Moss. Um, <laughs> it's changed. Times have changed. Um, I don't know. I think that there's bigger people that can be healthy. There's some that there's also really skinny people that are unhealthy. It just depends what I will say. And I've said this before, like I know food beauty wants us to like celebrate her weight and she wants us to like, oh, you know, <laughs> and if we're not celebrating her and telling her she's beautiful, then we don't like her because she's fat. I'll be really honest. I find it hard to celebrate a body that's dying. Like I'm not going to be like, this is beautiful. Live your best life. Like I can't celebrate a body that's dying. You know, like there's nothing to celebrate there. She is a first-class manipulator, can't stand her. Agreed. I don't mind chubby girls, but super morbidly obese should never be celebrated. If you're dying from your health problems because of the way you eat, and you're just eating, 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 and creating health problems, I'm probably not going to celebrate you like that. I'm sorry. That's just, what are the odds it's a troll and she's staying? If it's another troll, I hope her parents get her into a mental hospital. Because <laughs> this is not normal. This is not normal. There's no excuse she can take Ozempic. There's a lot of things she could be doing. She could be moving her legs and getting off her ass. She could deny herself the eighth burger of the day. She could take actual medication that'll make her not so insane. She could be going to therapy every single week. <laughs> I, I, there's all, But all she's doing is eating. That's all. So I will celebrate when she reaches 500 pounds. You missed the celebration then, Tom. She didn't like the Ozempic and made her eat less. <laughs> Health is defined as a state of being free from injury illness. Thank you, Emmy. Food is literally her only comfort. It's her drug. It's her drug of choice and um, drugs and alcohol. And alcohol is a drug, by the way. If you abuse them, they end your life. But some people don't view food as like as deadly as other things. And um, it is. It is. It is. Snow Zumpic. Hey, everyone. Hey, Penny. I knew she was working on her subs for money to get home. Someone told her to take a walk the other day and she declined. What's going to happen to the upcoming therapy appointment? She's not going to cancel it and take that space from someone else. That's sick. That's sick. It's hard to get into new therapists or like go see new psych doctors. It's very hard to get in most places. At least I'll speak with my in my area. Um, 
for me throughout my life, like whenever I went back into rehab, well, actually that was the only time I got seen soon. So, but there's points in my life where like I would leave therapy for a while and go back, leave and go back. Um, but it was always hard. Like I remember one time I had to wait like six months to see somebody. There's another time I had to wait over three months. Like it's usually hard to get in places. So if she's taking an appointment from somebody else. If she scheduled something and she's just not going to show up, then she's a bitch. I wouldn't doubt this is just a cash grab for abuse and to get people talking. She needs to make up for that week. She was suspended. <sighs> she just needs to go get help. I don't know. She won't. She won't. There's anything we say she needs to do. She's not going to do. So like, really like for her, it's either inpatient rehab or death. And we know what she's going to choose. They're six to eight months behind, and even now, some doctors have 200 patients. We got to go in 15 minutes increments. And it's sad because there's truly people, like, who need to see somebody right away, who don't want to be here anymore, who are hurting themselves and want to stop. Like, there's serious things going on, and there's foodie who just, eh, willy-nilly, oh, let me go eat my 20th burger of the day. It's sick. She doesn't want the help, and I don't think anybody should waste their time on trying to help her anymore. Death, I guess. Yeah, Gonzo. Take her with a grain of salt. She'd rather die. She would. She would. And again, I know people are going to say, oh, you know, Breezy, this was absolutely vile. The sad reality, I've seen it. I've been through addiction. I've been in countless meetings, rehab, sober <laughs> living houses across California. I did the whole tour. I've seen people that truly don't want to get better and drink themselves to death. It's just how it is. I've seen people not get better and drug, you know, till they couldn't anymore. I've seen people eat themselves. I mean, there's even people in, with eating disorders in treatment. I don't, it's sad, but it's a reality. It's a reality. And like I said, she's had more opportunities than most people, um, <laughs> way more opportunities than most people. And she pissed it all away. So, oh, well, she doesn't think eating is like, and that's what's going to see. Yeah. She doesn't think it's going to be what kills her, but it is all that food she's eating leads to what, and it's all unhealthy food, heart attack, stroke. I went from wearing a size 28 jeans to size 10. Oh my gosh. That's freaking amazing. Congratulations. See, it's possible to change. It's possible to get healthier. Her next post, I'm sorry guys for these posts. You know, I'm impulsive <laughs> and I'm never going to address the haters again. <laughs> I'm never going to address the haters again. Chantel really going back. That did not last. She's going back. I mean, unless it's another troll. But to be honest, if it is a troll, like I said, they just need to come get her and lock her up somewhere. Lather, rinse, repeat. Yep. She needs to be reported to the police. I don't I, She's going to get herself in trouble one way or another. One way or another. Everybody gets lucky for so long. And then <laughs> your luck runs out. And consequences come crashing down. Um, it's it's wild how it's going to work. I don't envy her and what's to come. I really don't. I went from size 20 to 10 Ozempic. Really, Mandy? That's so good, you guys. Congratulations. I am so proud of everybody in here who's making changes and doing the damn thing. Like, I'm rooting for you guys. I'm rooting for you guys. And by the way, she deleted the post. Of course she did. Of course she did. I think all of them blue pajamas. Hold on. Let me pull up her channel on my phone. I think I've seen enough of that thread for a second. We could go ahead and pull that off. Pull that off. Um, hold on. I got distracted. All right. Let's look at her channel. It's all gone. All those posts. She spent so much time raging into the void. <laughs> and they're all gone. They're all gone. Do you think she will get a wooden or a plastic peg leg? I think wood would be too expensive for her. So probably plastic, right? Maybe. Oh, I know how she could save money. You know how she just gets like the plastic utensils from all the time she eats out? She can just um, melt them together and she could build her own little peg leg. That's what she could do. It's 225, Matthew. What from 388 to 133. Great girl. You're a freaking rock star. Do you know that? Do you know that? I hope you are so proud of yourself. Gonzo, she's too heavy for a prosthetic. But I think she has enough plastic to melt together to make that leg. I think she might be okay. I think she might be okay. <laughs> I can't fit in the leg of my old jeans. Oh my gosh, great girl. I'm so proud of you. Salad can sign it. 
He could. All right, there is a little video. Just a little video I want to play for you guys. If you've watched me long enough, you've probably seen it a hundred times by now. But it's just a little something I put together about Foodie Beauty and her husband. And, you know, maybe she needs a reminder of exactly what she's going back to. Oh, yes, this video. Suck it, Foodie. Suck it, Foodie. All right. Hold on. I got to I have it unlisted. So let me pull it up. Why is my phone going off right now? Wait, what? Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, I cannot look at my phone. So hold on. <laughs> she would just be wheelchair bound for sure. She would need a steel leg, you're right. Oh shoot, it's playing without me. Listen, lady, I didn't tell you to speak yet, Philly, okay? Hold on. <laughs> She's talking before I could share it. I missed what Matthew said, but I'll go back and look for it. So this is what Foodie is rushing home to. This man who cannot stand her, wanted to shit on her Beezer. Um, trigger warning, you know what the stuff, the topics were with Salah. So it's going to be on the screen. Just giving you a heads up. I don't even believe in God right now. Why am I wearing fucking hijab? I don't believe in anything anymore. I gave my cats away for you. Yeah, fuck you. That's what you can do with your apology. Well, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm gonna shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Get down on your knees. Beg me to forgive you. <laughs> I'm sorry for people who assume that I'm a good person. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a hateful piece of shit. <laughs> I'm a hateful piece of shit. All right. That's just a little something I put together. That's what she's going back to. Woof, woof, baby. Please play the short Jessica Mesca just posted. Um, ew. Let me see. If I did it, it would just take me to take the opportunity to drag her for a second. But I hope you have the most beautiful babies. What the? Hold on. Okay. I don't like JM for multiple reasons. Mainly because when I went through a really hard time in my life, uh, I don't care about the GB stuff. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this because I'm going to play something, but I'm going to say what I have to say first. I went through a very hard time, a very hard time. And both the night before she left to rehab, she was talking about putting pictures of me up on her stream. And she said she didn't care because she was leaving tomorrow anyways. And then at the same time she was talking, I think it was the same night. It was later that night, some random guy was there and she was going to go smoke with him before rehab and get lit. Um, it's disgusting. I don't think it's cute to do things like that. Um, especially if you like, whatever you want to talk about that time, like it was really hard for me. It was really hard for me. And, um, She's disgusting, but I'm going to play this short. She is a disgusting person. All right, hold on one second. I think it's because it's bleeped out, you guys. Um, it's a now rage, and she said a lot of nasty words, a lot of nasty words, and she had to take down their stream. Give me a second. Who is Messica? She's this chick who sent her nudes to Natter. Like, she full-on was obsessed with Natter. Um, she's made a name for herself basically by being one of the nastiest trolls I could think of. And it's not because she's not doing, like, scrappers and, like, all that stuff. It's the mental torment that she puts on, on like, the people she wants to troll through. Um, what she did to Enchanted Roses was absolutely vile and disgusting. And I'll stand by that. And then the weird thing is she tried to get an in with now, but from what I understand, and this is just from what I understand, 
her and her friends were sending alcohol and different things to now. It's like, and they'll call repeatedly. They post people's nudes all the time. Like if you have, like, if you are in with them at some point, I don't know why people send Jessica Muska their nudes, but if you're in with her at some point and you guys have a falling out, her and Ariel will make your life hell. And that's just how it is. They'll change their profile pictures to people's kids. Um, they bragged in their discord about sending me pizzas while meanwhile saying I'm lying about it. I have the screenshots. I have the screenshots. They're just crazy. And um, she just does really messed up shit. But then, oh, I've already said I was messy. So I, I personally don't like her. I don't like her at all. Um, thank you for explaining. Yeah, so that's my personal feelings. But like, if you like the bullshit, if you like stuff like that, if you like to really be in the mix of things and wonder if your nudes are going to come out tomorrow, like it's a great channel for you. <laughs> but mainly what I will say is um, I find it odd that when Nell said the N word a long time ago and uh, her and her chat, I, I remember specifically people came over for her chat and they're like, are you still going to support Nell? Even though she said the N word, I never went back to Nell's chat, but Jessica Mesca is still there. Um, and she was her friend for a while. So let me get this short up. And I probably wouldn't have said anything, but since we're going to watch something on her channel, I'm just going to explain why it is I don't support her, but I want you guys to see this. All right. Give me a second. And then I guess we'll go into the now content. So if you're here for just foodie beauty, we'll um, do a Twitter recap tomorrow. We're going on to the now stuff now. Now, wait, now stays saying the N word hard R. Doesn't she worry about how that would affect her boyfriend that she apparently or supposedly loves so much? Like her boyfriend with a channel that's about to hit 100K subscribers. Does she not worry that since she basically changed her whole channel name from Naked and Laughing to Queen Cobra to ride his coattails, that when she's a drunken mess all over the internet, abusing her cats, abusing her family, saying the N word, saying, all kinds of slurs and horrible names. Does she ever wonder if it's going to affect him in a negative way? Because if she loved him, she would worry about that, right? I mean, I would. If I if I had if I was in a relationship with a YouTuber who was just about to hit 100k and I wanted a life with them, why the f would I try and destroy what they've built? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. All right. Oh man, wait, riding cobe tails. Yeah. <laughs> a better way of saying it. <laughs> okay, so the title of this short says, I hope you have the most beautiful babies. I don't. Is it gonna play? The most beautiful babies, because it's not gonna be me, because you fucking been trolling me my whole fucking live stream. So Josh and whoever, I hope you have the most beautiful babies. Congratulations. Because obviously it's not me because I'm too ugly. And most wow. people babies because it's not going to be me because you fucking been trolling me my whole fucking live stream. So Josh and whoever, I hope you have the most beautiful babies. Congratulations. Because obviously it's not me because I'm too ugly. I, every time I hear, I don't like her. I don't like now. I don't like her. Yeah. She's disgusting. She's so worried about being ugly. And what she doesn't realize is if she shut her mouth, her exterior isn't that bad. But every time she opens it, she becomes the most ugliest human being I've ever encountered. Now you're so worried about being ugly. That right there makes you hideous. Do you get that? You're hideous because of the language you use and how you treat people. You were disgusting last night with what you implied with my baby daddy being my pimp, basically. I, I knew what you were hinting at now. You're freaking racist. You're a racist asshole. You are. You're a racist asshole. But she's prettier than, oh, yeah, she's so much prettier than me. <laughs> this bitch takes eight hours to get ready, and she's going to say she's prettier than me who takes 20 minutes tops. I don't think so. Miss eight hours in the bathtub trying to get yourself clean? I don't think so, but... We can entertain that for a second. It's a cute thought. It's a cute thought. Jam used to be just like now. Um, I see. They're equally shitty, just in different ways. 
just in different ways. Yeah, about that beautiful girl Josh was on the panel with Courtney. Courtney, she's I think Courtney's hot. Like I I don't know. I I don't know if it's because like when I watch her, she's like seems like one of the guys. Like her personality is just hot to me. Like I don't know how to explain it, but like, does it ever make now wonder? Why Cobes goes into Courtney's chat, but he doesn't hardly go into hers. It's probably because you're embarrassing now. You're embarrassing. She's a racist and homophobic. She is. She is. She's 100% racist. I can't stand people who use that kind of language and then cry about people not liking them. Well, if she wants to know why people hate her, it's because of that. At least for me. At least for me. She's spunky. You mean like funky? Is that why she takes eight-hour baths? She's a vile beast. Agreed. Agreed. Um, oh, I really want to play something right now. Hold on one second, please. Please tell me I saved it. It's from Satan's channel. It just cracks me up and I feel like we need a little laugh. Oh, MFW is live on a channel she's ban evading on. That's always fun. <laughs> That's always fun. Is it? Oh, please tell me. Hold on. Satan, I, can I visit your channel for a minute? If you don't mind. I want to play the fishnet song. <laughs> I want to play the fishnet song. <laughs> Let's play Foodie Beauty Jogging. Um, maybe. Maybe. I'd rather play his uh, her fake husband's DMs to Kay Bella. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, Satan has a channel where he also covers... Um, like all, everybody, and they're like short clips, but this is my favorite thing ever that Nal's done. Hey, so fucking go on, whore. What's the fucking tip? And a fish neck, and a fish neck, and a fish neck, and a fish. Where's that fucking blonde cunt whore? Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? I have to play it one more time. I'm sorry. Where's the fucking go on whore? What's the fucking tip? And a fish neck. And a fish neck. And a fish neck. And a fish. Where's that fucking blonde cunt whore? Where is she? Where is she? I don't know, but I bet you're. Where's the fucking go on whore? What's <laughs> I was going to keep playing if I didn't get rid of it. He, Your man probably wishes he was with the fishnet right now. Girl, you're a mess. You're a mess. Okay, there's one thing I want to watch with you guys, unless now goes live, and then we'll go over there. So Courtney had a panel tonight, and she addressed Naked and Laughing, Queen Cobra, whatever the F you want to call her. And I, the beginning, it started off slow. I was wondering if she was just going to be really nice to now. Start off a little slow, and then it actually got really, really good. Um, I think at least the part where she talked about her. So I'm trying to find that really fast, you guys. Message to now. Why did I not just click on it when it's right there? Hello? Click? Oh, no. It took us somewhere else. I think we we're going to listen to Sciatica Aches again, which I love that song. We might have to close with it just because it's a really good one. Give me one second, you guys. I'm on my old laptop because I didn't want to deal with sound. Like, I just wasn't in the mood to wonder if it was working or not or if you guys were hearing me. Um, I, so I'm on the old one. I'm on the old one, but we're here and we're making it work. It just might take a couple seconds for me to pull things up. Um, Courtney's a redhead. Courtney is beautiful. I could see why Nal is very, like, insecure and worried. Because Cope seems to really get along with her, and Courtney doesn't give him any drama from what I've seen. I could be wrong. All right, I think it started like the good part came at like 37 minutes in. Well, let me share the screen, that would help. What did Matthew say? We need to make a list of Breezy's greatest slogan. Breezy, you should do my blonde moments, like where I think a tall boy means a ghost boy in the background, or when I chat, when I write things in chats that I don't mean to. Oh, no, is the live chat not going to be up? Please. Oh, yes, it is. Ha ha. Watch the chat, you guys. Watch the chat. That's a main part. And I think, I, like I said, it was about 37 minutes in. And I was like, finally. 
Um, she did praise Jessica Mesca for a while, and I'm not sticking around for that part because just no thank you. But here we go. About, you know, opening up to me or dumping out to the internet more about his girlfriend or how things are with his girlfriend. And I think you guys that have been watching Josh for a long time, you guys know that he is a stubborn motherfucker. 100%. I saw you in there, Greek girl. I did. I saw you. <laughs> Total stubborn fucking shit. What's up, BGTV? Some people complain about people talking commentary. <laughs> Thanks, BGT. Boy, Courtney, you talk a lot. Again, I said, it's just give me a quick one. So that is what it is. Josh is a very strong willed individual. And it's another reason I think why a lot of us watch him and appreciate him. You know, if his, his grown father is somebody that's coming down on him about something, or if it's me or whatever, Josh he has the, you know, likes to shut it out and doesn't get to respond to us. I'm not going to fucking. Can I say something really fast and then I'll try not to talk as much so we can get through this? I don't watch a lot of King Cobra, right? Like I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan before all this happened, right? I truly got into it because like now was going there and yada, yada, yada. But like I've tried to watch him before. I just, I don't like his food concoctions. Um, I find them hard for me, but like the thing I noticed about him is he always seemed pretty like chill, laid back, and he was pretty nice to people for the most part, except for like F the trolls. So if I didn't know a damn thing about him and like the brief little bit of knowledge that I knew, right, he wasn't like attacking people like now does, I would watch her channel and never give him the time of day. In fact, I'd probably encourage people not to subscribe because he's with a racist, homophobic cat abuser. Um, I'm not sure if that's the real King Cobra in the chat, by the way. They were in there a lot, but I, I don't know. I couldn't decide. Do you guys know? And scream at him about this is the first relationship that he has had with somebody else on YouTube that we've interacted with and saw. Stephanie, I came after Stephanie, so I didn't experience Stephanie at all. <clears throat> so in the last 24 hours, 48 hours what I've seen of naked and laughing. It is wildly concerning, Josh, for sure. It is concerning. It is concerning. Yeah. Now, again, this is I mean, all provided to me from, you know, clips and um, I can't sit and raw dog four hours in a bathtub. I can't <laughs> sit through all of that. I can watch and try to form my own opinion mm -hmm. of what I am seeing. Um, and, and really not even now being alone at home and her interactions with her parents and shit like that, because that's a whole other thing too. And I don't know the dynamic at her family. I don't know the dynamic at her house. Um, and again, so just in case you were wondering, it sounds like our chat said because he's modded that it's really him. Now you can get fucking mad at me right now for even judging your home life or shit like that, dude, but you literally have it on YouTube though. And, and your dad's yelling and we're in bathtubs and then you're accusing your dad of wanting to fuck you and shit like that, dude. Hard, hard watch, yeah, dude. Yeah. Hard fucking watch. Yeah. Hard watch. Hard watch too, dude. When I see something like that, where, you know, I stand back and I see it and I'm like, dude, like she was just fucking like in her bra or her whatever in the bathtub and her mom comes in and then been running the water relentlessly for a long time. Yeah. Maybe you pay for the water. I don't know. Maybe you could be like, no. fuck you, mom and dad. I pay for the water. I'll let it run all day long. I don't think that's a situation. I, I really don't. And then the he moment, doesn't... though, that your dad came to come in there, dude, it was like fucking naked. And then you immediately call your father a sicko, dude. Hard for me. Hard watch. Hard watch. Why would you want to be with somebody who, who like paints to the internet that their dad is a sicko, that their boyfriend talks to underage women? Remember? She said that about Josh. Like, why would you want to be with that? She's going to say something really bad about Josh one day or get him arrested. I just, I don't know. I feel like that's coming. Way hard. Super hard. Don't know your dad. Don't know your mom. Don't know if everybody in fucking Virginia Beach are sickos. I don't know that, right? They're not. I go there every other month. Go there every other month. <clears throat> hard to see that, dude. Totally hard. To Thank you, Greek girl. It was, it was nuts. It was not. And now, too, okay, this other thing, too, in your defense on that, too, I totally get it. Hey, you're a fucking big YouTuber. Let's foodie beauty this shit. Let's make some drama. Let's make things. Uh, let's get some clicks and views. So I'm going to be all of the worst and I'm going to do things like that. Not your parents, though, man. What? What? Not your parents. Did you see how she was fighting with Josh and tries? I also, again, first trip, second trip to Casper. I did the beginning again, mental illness, right? Okay, I think it's mm -hmm. mental illness. And then you fast forward after the second trip, though, like 
there are some calculated, I don't know, manipulative decisions yes. that me standing back and again, openly just saying this now, I'm not picking on you. I'm not targeting you. I'm only going to mention things that have been on the internet. That's it. Can I ask any private guys, conversations I've had with Josh, not any discussions behind the scenes. If you were Josh, actually, I shouldn't say that because he went through a how many year dry spell, six to eight years. I think he truly just was like, he wanted to get laid and like, he enjoyed it, so he's sticking it out. But let's pretend you didn't go through a million year dry spell, right? You could get it all the time, like it's not an issue. <laughs> if you met somebody like Nell and you were under the impression she was a good person who loved animals, blah, 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 and she came to your apartment, it was the first time you guys met. It's supposed to be like a honeymoon phase, right? You guys should be effing the whole time she's there. Like it should be romance, it just should be a whole thing. Would you invite her back if she screamed at you, raged at you, basically almost got you kicked off YouTube because of her behavior and like made your home so uncomfortable you couldn't even sleep? Would you invite this woman back? Like, I don't care if her kitty shoots rainbows, diamonds, pearls, opals, moonstone. I don't care. Tiffany rings. Like, it's not worth it. Just what I've seen on the internet, right? And maybe too, I don't watch now, so maybe she explains all of this and she explains why... She wants a machete to fucking, you know, like maybe she explained that. Maybe she walked it back and there was a whole other reasoning of why she said these things that I don't know about. And I, again, will 100% take that into consideration. But there's probably a lot maybe that I don't know. She's really talking shit about you in her stream saying you want Josh, you can have him while you're over here trying to be cool as a victim cop. I don't, this right here. And all of my long-windedness. This part is so important. And you guys, do you know if her stream is still up? Because she was raging when Courtney was live addressing this. And she was basically saying, like, well, good luck to them. They could be, the, you know, she was doing her little temper tantrum. But this person said she's literally talking shit about you in her stream, saying if you want Josh, you can have him. While you're over here trying to be cool, she has a victim complex and Josh doesn't care. If there's any takeaway, naked and laughing, that you can have is what it looks like right here. Nobody's trying to steal your man. Nobody's trying to yoke up your guy at all. I care relentlessly about fucking Josh. I want him to be happy. You are like something. The moment, dude, he was so excited you're coming to your house. I was fucking psyched. Like, let's fucking go. This is badass. Awesome. Let's fucking go. You know what? At the end of the day, too, fucking stick to the fucking trolls. Dry spell ended. It was great. But repetitively, when I was streaming with Josh, and there was things brought up, clear cut things, mm -hmm. either side chat or in the videos, things that were brought up. The immediate response though was that, was there, there is this repeat narrative of being a victim of, um, you know what, she acts this way, you know, because, you know, she was abused or she had this or that. And, and whether it is true or not true, it is not an excuse mm -hmm. for you to treat Josh that way. It's exactly. not an excuse for you to treat your side chat that way. It's not an excuse for you to treat your fucking viewers that way, dude. You want to be a YouTuber and you want to come on this fucking platform. Whoa. I don't know. Again, don't know your parents. Maybe everybody's a bunch of fucking sickos, but it's not an excuse to fucking treat them that way, dude. Like I couldn't watch you. I can't watch you. It fucking cringes. It kills. Me. It's awful. Today, the stream, I guess, is either deleted or privated. You guys, she, I hate saying this, but there was times she would disappear and make people wonder, like she was in the bathroom a million hours and she was already loaded. Like she was loaded. And I truly believe she's this calculated before I remember watching her where she like her face went down into the tub. Right. And like, I was legit scared. I thought we were witnessing somebody like die in front of us on a stream. I think during this live stream and it's my own thoughts, I think it was manipulated. I think she knew what she was doing as far as she was pretending and making everybody worry. She, she was in the bath and then she'd go quiet for long amounts of times. And everybody was like, is she okay? We need to call somebody get a hold of Josh and she make people worry. But I think she was reading the chat the entire time. And then she'd come back on, you know, however many minutes later and she'd go <coughs> and act like, you know, or either her face was down or something horrible was going to happen to her. She knows what she's doing. She's calculated. Tells me to watch you. You are so fucking angry. You're so angry. And, and you know what fucking kills me, dude, is I see that anger and I see that. I I'm just some fucking broad in North Carolina right now, dude. And if you're losing your goddamn mind in your bathtub right now over me being kind and open to you right now, if, if that's what's triggering you and making you lose your mind, what the fuck is going to happen when you're back in Casper and Josh has passed out and you're weirdly still live streaming or, you know, doing other things like wait, that's like some crazy sociopath behavior, dude, like crazy, it's fucking crazy mm. behavior.
Where like, is Hurl? And there's no reason for it. And I don't know, Jessica. And two, this is, again, we'll fall back on mental illness and issues and problems and whatnot. Myself, like I said, like I, I have a PTSD from the fact that my arch nemesis on YouTube with the realist Jamie Nicole, she's dead. She's dead. It bothers me every day. The horrible shit I used to say about her and to her, whether it was true or not. It's just how I am. And my heart is very hard for me to come on here and be brutal to fucking people or be nasty to fucking people. I'm not. I like her and she's a better person than me because I'm not going to feel bad about anything I've said about foodie. Cut out for this shit. A lot of times I'm not cut out for fucking YouTube. I'm not fucking mean girl. Or now for that matter. Anything I've said about now, I will never feel bad after last night. Girl world, all that shit, dude. I fucking hate it, dude. I end up, you know, looking like I defend fucking Chappelle half the time because y'all say some fucking dumb ass shit. That's insane to me. But God damn it now. Like, you got to fucking chill the fuck out, dude. Like, you need to chill the fuck out, man. If that, maybe that's your shtick, too. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe it's, it's all big fucking act, right? That ain't. That ain't. Because motherfuckers that aren't live streaming with you have confirmed it. Like, you're not. Like, <laughs> it's not an act, dude. It's not an act. Like, at the end of the day, dude, I understand this is probably all crazy overwhelming, right? I'm out here talking about you on YouTube. TNT, you got some things that stand out. She doesn't work. Josh buys. I feel like you're being too nice. Like, no matter what you say about her, she uploaded all it. Like, she uploads for 24 hours a day, practically, onto a public platform. She wants to be talked about, or she wouldn't be doing what she does. I'm sorry, but. Her food, Josh gets her money. She doesn't deserve grace of people covering her when she's the drunken fool right now. Weed and other things. She brags about it. This is what I'm saying, Jessica, now. And you know what? And this is where, again, Josh is a sweetheart and he wants to look out for his fucking woman. But I'll be fucking dipped in shit, dude, if you're going to take advantage of that, dude. And again, I, grown man, grown fucking man, dude. Like, I, I beg everybody that was so upset about the last stream about, you know, Josh rage quit. He didn't rage quit. I ended the fucking stream so I could talk privately backstage with my friend that was v visually upset, right? Because mm. I'm not using Josh in his relationship for content on YouTube and let's just fucking dump all this. No, dude, I ended the fucking stream. I clicked end stream so I could talk to Josh. But I'm going to tell you something, Jessica. I love her, so I'm not talking shit, but she's being far too kind to somebody who's racist and homophobic. Now, it's, it's hard when shit like that, it's hard. Again, it's hard for folks to digest this relationship. And you have to be respectful to all of us as viewers why we struggle with it, right? I don't know. I don't know what your situation is. And this is where I don't want to fucking stop, sound like I'm being cruel to you. I don't know if you work. I don't know if you went to school. I don't know. She does care. I know this is all because she really cares about Josh, but I think she's being too kind right now to the racist, homophobic, um, crazy lady. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what your living situation is. I don't fucking know. I do know, again, last 24 to 48 hours of the, I'm moving to Casper, dumping out where Josh is living or where he's going and shit like that. So obviously you have an income, right? You're not going to just rely on Josh for an income. And again, unless that was like a, a agreed upon discussion with you and Josh, but the other night it was a situation of Josh saying that, you know, you, you weren't going to come live with him. You weren't going to live with him. And you know what? And the other side of it too, that the part that fucking kills me with all this is. Um, so maybe if you're new to this, like me, a lot of this, um, this will help you understand things because Greek girl makes a lot of sense. Greek girl said, I think she's being extra nice to try and get through to Cobes. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. And if so, she's a really, really good friend. <laughs> the part that kills me about me doing this, none of this is, is going to help Josh right now. I know it's not. It's probably going to give him a substantial amount of time of yelling and headaches because of this right here, because of this. She doesn't work. She wants JFS fans to buy her a car. It's crazy to me. It's crazy so all right let me uh, let's do this all right naked and laughing jessica and it's not just a car the other day she was e-begging for a laptop and she was saying if jessica messica got sent one then she should be sent a laptop too she's also not happy with her mattress and she would like you to fund it so she too can have a threesome on a purple mattress like nat or dd and foodie you're i'm not gonna go away right i'm not gonna go away i'm also again hypothetically or assume, assuming you being upset about me talking to Josh or my involvement with Josh or whatever, right? You <laughs> you being upset with that. All right. So I, I will challenge you this. Okay. I'm not going to go away. Josh's fans aren't going to go away. People that truly do care about him. Carrie, my love. Thank you so much for becoming a member. It's so good to see you. I'm loving that I'm seeing you again. We missed you. We missed you. <laughs> Welcome back, Carrie. I love you. People that are diehard trolls of Josh 
wildly concerned about you being with him. It, it, listen, and if you were going to blame it on everybody else and say that it's all these trolls and whatever, dude, it's nuts to me, though. That's the general consensus, right? Very difficult for me to find a fucking now this is a great, healthy relationship supporter. And please post if, if you are of that. Maybe the ones that are the diehard trolls that want to see all of the... FYI, Carrie, I think Teddy, I think this was the chat he was talking shit about you in. Teddy Bear, just to let you know, I... <laughs> And so if you see it come up, um, he went in there. There was this one point where she played like, or she showed Auntie Jessie's channel on the screen. We'll end up seeing it, but he was in there saying, Carrie's like, da 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 da. So hi, Carrie. <laughs> the worst for Josh are the ones that are okay with Tell it. Me, I hey. But I want you to know, and you were welcome the other night when I was live to come on a panel with me. You're live in the bathtub for Christ's sake. So I never assumed that coming on a panel with me would be any more of an uncomfortable thing to put you through. Naked on streams and shit, dude, right? Not judging at all. But I don't think you coming on a panel with me would be that hardcore or that uncomfortable, out of your element kind of situation. I'm a nice broad. I'm a fucking front broad. I'm going on a panel. We can do fun things together. You can come on a panel with me and we can do some fucking cool chick shit. Do whatever. I would like to get to know you being somebody that is very close with Josh and wanting the best for Josh. And fucking, hey, you're a YouTuber. Look at me. I'm a YouTuber too. That's what YouTubers do. We hang out, right? Or maybe Jessica, hey, my next trip to Virginia Beach, which I go there all the time. Totally take you out for drinks, dude. I would love it. I would love I would love to take all of this shit in my head that's all kind of gummed up over the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. I'd like to just release it and be like, you know what? It's that old fucking internet, right? Just making Hold me Hold on, you guys, really fast. For those of you who watch this all the time, did now really say somewhere that she was gonna take all of Josh's money or that she wanted to take all of his money? Did she say that for a fact? Because I remember though. I do remember seeing a stream where she was in his bathroom for a long time and people were trying to convince her the money was hidden in the toilet. So is that what people are talking about? Like she was in there for a while. Like I think she genuinely thought she was going to find money. Can me assume things that aren't true? Painting things in my mind that aren't reality, perhaps, right? I would love to be proven wrong about that. I would love to. But I'm just saying from where I stand right now, dude, where I stand right now, insane. It's insane to me. Imagine meeting somebody for the second time in person and you flip out and scream at them, threaten them with a machete, and you don't only met two times. She did say it. Concerning. Concerning. Absolutely concerning. The other side of it, too, obviously, is Josh. And Josh, I don't think anybody ever has to settle. Right. Okay. And I know just some of the things that, like you had said the other night, again, you know, going a long time without dating or having a dry spell or whatever, or listening to goddamn the Sultan of Silver all the time and fucking Isaac. Listen, those are tough, you know, again, I don't want you to think in your head that you have to settle or, um, hey, this is as good as it gets, mm -hmm. right? And prove me wrong now. Prove me wrong that you're you're way better than as good as it gets. You, you are everything. Everything that we all hoped for Josh. Prove us all wrong. And maybe it's just the, you know, the early on YouTube jitters, perhaps. She's a good friend. I'm glad Josh has someone like her as a friend. That would be understandable to think that she's just internet concerned trolling, but it's all recorded yeah. all of it. <laughs> Fucking pictures rules. <laughs> it's too late, Courtney. King Crow JFS settled. He did. And I don't I don't know. I think that um how long would you say low battery? It's probably conflict avoidance due to sensory issues, too. Well, I think, again, you got the Sultan of Silver that pretty much just painted all of us women as fucking crazy. And Josh, I know you love the shit out of him. So I understand that, you know, um, George Bruno's a guy that probably, you know, we're not all crazy, though, is, is what I'm saying, though, is that we are not all crazy, Josh. And I'm not saying now that you are specifically crazy, but God damn it, you show the Internet that you are, dude. For sure. You show the Internet. Can I say it now? You're crazy. And this is where I want to better understand you, dude. For sure, I want to understand you. Like I, I love that about YouTube. I love YouTuber like Josh. Is somebody that has, um, has the ability to like shelf, like a uh, pride. Uh, you know, he's shameless at times. That he is a able to come on YouTube and legit show himself. I fucking love and adore that. So I always say he's like one of the best YouTuber ever that I've ever interacted with because he has the ability to come on here. It's Aww. not scripted. It's not. Um, he's not out here with smoke and mirrors about shit. It's Josh. We get real raw Josh. And I think that's why he has such a big fa like following. Lisa, that makes me so sad. Lisa said he doesn't understand how much she cares for him, unfortunately. You could tell just from when she had him on the other night and now, like, I didn't know that they were, like, in life real. Like, I mean, I knew they were friends, but I didn't realize, like, I guess how close they were. But you could tell she genuinely cares. 
And like, she wants what, what's best for him, yet she wants him to be happy. So it seems like she's trying to kind of understand the situation. But again, I'm saying she's a better person than me because um, if somebody was doing this to my friend, I don't know that I could hold myself together like this. I just don't know that I could. And she does a really good job at it. On YouTube. I think that, Jordan, will you just move on already? Stop repeating yourself. Kendall, beat it. I'm going to end the stream in a second. <clears throat> I hope that everything that I assume all of the hashtags of Save Josh. I really hope that we're wrong. I really hope we're wrong about it. God damn it, Luigi. I do think that... <laughs> can't read you guys. You guys are going to bring me up. It's too much. Too much. Like, like the coupon code, Josh. Yeah, chat's moving too fast. Kenny Powers needs that coupon code. Courtney Knight, Josh did nothing wrong. He just wanted to use his pan. Josh was nothing but good to her, and she went crazy on him. Now, it's nuts. It's nuts. It, it is absolutely fucking nuts to me. Within the last 24 to 48 hours, the fucking shit that I've seen. You do just to Josh. Again, F parents, all that craziness. F how brutal you are to your viewers, dude. Like, this is your viewers. You want to build a fucking channel, dude? And you treat your fucking viewers yeah. that way? And I understand there's trolls, and I know there's bad people. But, dude, like, zero appreciation for any of, like, the fortune that has come into your life right now. Yeah. Your fucking boyfriend is going to be a fucking 100K verified channel. Probably tonight. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a big fucking deal, dude. What is he since asking? you have been in his world, dude, and since you've gotten into his fucking world, dude, I'm sorry. Some fucked up shit has happened. Yeah. Not blaming you for fucking evictions, dude. I have no fucking idea. I'm just saying. Fucked up things have happened. Like, serious, crazy things. And I know there's a whole other back fucking story as to shit that went on and with property management and all that. Totally get that. But, dude. Hey. The hey. fuck? I'm coming for you now. Dynamite. Like Lori Hole gets all your fucking chest cam vids, dude. Dynamite, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Hold on one second. I'm going back to our chart really fast. I was being nosy, and I wanted to see if Josh hit 100K yet. He hasn't, but I feel like he will very soon. Dynamite. Okay, who got it? Thank you so much for gifting a membership. And Lisa got it. Lisa, welcome to the Breezy Bunch. It's great seeing you. It's good to have you here. And Dynamite, that was so sweet. Thank you. Concerning. Wildly concerning. Let me tell time, Josh. I appreciate all you guys, too, that have said or have reached out actually fucking truly caring about Josh and wanting good for Josh. I've felt like this community has been like super toxic at times and I've thought whatever it's, it's, it's hard. It's there's ups and downs about how hardcore you guys are and how awful the shit I've seen is on here. But I think this is something that has proven to me and shown me that all of you guys do fucking care about Josh, Josh, some of like the worst trolls that you think are out there and horrible, like are way, way concerned about you, dude. Cause they fucking love you, dude. They don't want, you know, yeah. Machetes and, and whatever. Like, we don't want y'all. It's wild. She basically got handed a ton of subscribers and she calls them every name in the book. Every name in the book. We will be able to tell a foodie play button is real when Cobra does his unboxing. Ooh, we will. We will. True. To get in another situation or it's, it's concerning. I think everybody is absolutely concerned of what can happen from this point on. And, and you know what, Josh, I think too, that there's probably a lot of good in now that we don't see that is keeping you around, right? There, there is probably something there that we don't see. And we see a lot of her high emotion and her. Well, I was going to say her vagina, but apparently a lot of people have seen it with her cam girl work. That's probably the one thing that he sees that many of us don't. I can't think of anything else going for her. Lashing out and her getting super angry and her being just crazy on YouTube. Nuts, right? I think we see all of that. Maybe there is a whole other side to it on here. But I, I need you to know and the internet and everybody else around here and all your viewers that you don't have to settle, too. You don't. This is all very fucking new. Um, I hope to shit y'all don't move in with each other. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I think that is a very, very bad idea to do. Hey, it's still too early. All right, let, let me do your grown man. Josh is a grown man. Now you're a grown ass woman. I'll give you some old lady advice because I'm older than you guys. So I should be able to do that, right? So old people do. Do not move in together. Please do not. Yeah. I don't know what now's living situation is in Virginia. I don't know what's up with her fucking family right now. Aaron, it's insane. Yeah. It's, it is crazy. The hitting her. It is song. crazy. Please do not live together. Like, give it some time. You really should have a good amount of time 
that y'all don't live together. Just, you know, again, try this out. <laughs> fucking, oh, you motherfucking glory hole. Please just take, um, no, I don't think she's 40. She, I don't even think she's 40, dude. I don't think she's 40. You know what? I was going to take the higher road for a second because there was something that was shown in the chat. And then I remembered what she said today. I'm not going to draw attention to it, but I just remember what she said today. And then I realized I don't care. I'm leaving the chat up. No, right? They're going to get married and have goblin babies if we don't take one for the team. And <laughs> Listen, man, I, I adopt uh, feral cats and uh, take in cats all the time and love them up. Um, I, I don't need a, another, a child. I don't want a child. <laughs> So she's 39. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even think she was 40 yet. I, I don't know. And again, I, I don't know even how well, this is Courtney. She a little backstory. I know very little other than I think she's beautiful and she seems really nice. Um, I know that she tried to rescue BBJ and her and FFG had a thing. She really tried to step in when foodie was talking about euthanizing her cat. Um, but I didn't realize that was her. That's crazy. Like I remember, I think when Marty started covering, remember when he started covering our, well, she used to be our favorite um, little cow, but she's not anymore, now Liz. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> Marty was covering a certain topic and um, Courtney was around during that time. And I remember people talking about her channel and everything else. So I've seen her a couple times, but I do know she's friends with Josh and she really, really cares about him. Um, I don't know what else she covers regularly. I have no clue. Oh, that all went and whatnot. Again, I saw some sweet things with her. Darf, is that really you? Darf, we got to have you come down to P&L some night. We got to have you come up here. We miss you. Your internet probably still is horrible at home. And you're going to go outside and walk around and I'm not going to hear you half the time. <clears throat> I do think that there is probably a lot of things now that you offer that relationship, positive things that we don't see. I think there probably is, right? probably a good number of, of wonderful things that you say but there's also the side of it too now you got shush on the internet dude like stop oversharing shit dude these guys love that we all want to hear about you cleaning josh's ass and stuff like that they love that shit dude but i'm saying out of respect for josh dude i know he says repetitively to you about oversharing things and and talking about living places and where you're going to be and all that i think that sucks that you have to respect boundaries on YouTube and you have to respect somebody who's going to be a hundred K verified YouTube channel that maybe Josh has a little bit more experience than you on YouTube. Maybe Josh has a little bit more understanding of what's okay to be put online. Right. And you've got to respect those fucking boundaries too. You got to like, she I'm at the point now, dude, where I, you know, first <laughs> saw you on a live stream, dude. And I was like, this fucking chick, you all know psychedelica. She's the one fucking YouTuber man that, <sighs> She crossed some dumb lines, man, with me for sure. Did she was not, yeah, she fucking blown through that, like gone now from the shit I've seen you all do on here, like insane to me, <laughs> insane. All right, I'm gonna. What do we got? Someone in her chat said she yelled the n word. She has no understanding of etiquette. Here, <laughs> I have a bunch of messages and DMs from you guys that I have not even gotten through, um, because it was a bit fucking much the other night. Um, and that's always what happens too. you know, this last Cyrex stream, you guys are fucking crazy. You go nuts about Cyrex. I totally get it. I understand. But, you know, the threats and the shit that people say to me, it's just fucking nuts to me. So I, a lot of times I take a step back. I go live for a little while. And this is why I'm not cut out for these hard YouTube streets and shit like that. I'm not. I'm not. Cyrex terrifies me, FYI. And his tongue are, is the stuff that nightmares are made out of you know, uh, made a fucking steal on here. And, you know, I get, and then I feel bad too. And I feel bad, Jessica, now. I feel bad right now, sounding like I'm fucking coming down on you, right? And I haven't even seen all the horrible shit you said about me, dude. I, I've gotten all of the horrible shit that people have either clicked wow. and shown me and all that, dude. Yeah, I've seen all of that, dude. But God damn it, dude. Like, you're fucking nuts. You're nuts. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I know a lot of people towards the end of her panel in the chat were like saying she should get with Josh and stuff like that. Now, if you're listening right now, apparently you hate me so much. You're probably watching just so you can rage about me later. Um, if you're so in love with Josh, I just really want you to sit and think about this in your bath tonight. You know, your eight hour bath. If you love him, why are you trying to bring him down with you? Just let yourself fall down whatever hole you're going to be in. Don't take him with you. And if you love him and you want a future together, why are you ruining his channel? Another thing, too, look at Courtney. She has her shit together. She has her shit together. She could take your man. 
fake Josh. I just got scared. I listen, I think I have two managing moderators. I don't think he can can you guys even unmod people? I don't think you can. That's a fake one. Stop it right now. Stop it. They would never unmod him, so quit it. <coughs> That's a fake Josh. You're not even a real Josh. <clears throat> I feel bad that I sound terrible to you now that I'm trying to be hard to you or I'm trying to be mean to you. That's not the real Josh. Quit it. <laughs> I love you guys. This is why I miss coming on here. You guys are a good fucking uh, sanity. Courtney Knight trolls say Jess is toxic and needs to go. Thank you, Hippocat. Hippocat, you're somebody who's been watching Josh for a long time, right? I could just tell by your comment, you're somebody that's been watching Josh for a long time. This is what infuriated me the other night. Right? Mm -hmm. So many people saying that I was kit gloves with Josh. And, you know, you really, you fucking blew it, Courtney, to come down. First of all, I was hanging out with my friend. He met a panel and we talked about his girlfriend. That's it. It wasn't a Josh interview. It wasn't a come to Jesus moment. I had fucking earmuffs for a majority of the shit with this lady. I have not watched a lot of it. I didn't uh, even understand to what severity things are. So, yeah, I appreciate you for being honest and saying that. That's the other thing. You just want me to come down on a friend and go hard to make him, again, you know, push him even farther out of my life. You're just his friend, and you've seen the stuff from Jess's last bit. Is it? You'd be telling him to dump her ass. It's not good of age. It's not. It's not. I don't think any of it's good. And this is where I'm hoping that there is another side to now that we don't fucking see. But from where I stand within the last 24 to 48 hours, what I've seen of this lady, it's, it's very concerning. It's super concerning to me. It's concerning to me, too, that... Hmm. And... I don't want to say this now because I don't know your history. I don't know your past, but the repetitive, like repetitive victim, um, almost like using trauma as an excuse. She does. For, for bad behavior or bad decisions or, you know, oh, I'm sorry. I, I flipped out and I spiraled because of X, Y, and Z in the past, or I'm so sorry. You know, I, I, I don't know. And I don't even know if you say you're sorry, dude. I don't even know if you are accountable for some of the horrors in what you've done. It, I don't even know what goes on in your house. I'm so sick of hearing now cry about how she was called ugly and da, da 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 And we're supposed to feel bad for her because I guess everybody's called her ugly, right? Apparently, well, whenever she gets drunk, she shares a story about how her friend's mom told her that she could like never go on stage because of how ugly she was. Apparently, she talks about even her parents telling her that like she's never going to get a man. Her mom would tell her, you're never going to get a man looking like this or whatever. Um, so... This person uses her trauma, whatever else she's been through, but will sit and rage at people and call them ugly and X, Y, Z. Like, she deserves no sympathy. Her trauma, no offense, like, traumas are hard, right? But, like, we have all gone through shit. All of us. Some far worse than now. It's no excuse. No matter what you've been through in life, it doesn't give you the excuse to turn around and drag somebody down with you or try to make them as miserable as you feel. Dude, I don't even know if... if Maybe your family is trying to fucking eat you, dude. 100%. Like, this is, I don't, it's not an excuse, man. It is not an excuse for it, dude. We all, we all have traumas, man. We all have bad shit coming on here. But Josh is a fucking good dude. He is an absolute fucking good dude. He fucking looks out for you. He looks out for his fucking fans, man. Fun? You know what I, well, I'll say I saw this, and this is so stupid, and it's not even anything from, like, all the bads we saw. I saw you now shitting on the fucking guy in Walmart that wanted to have a photo with fucking Josh. Like that bothered me to see how you were and how you're acting about somebody that came up to Josh and Walmart and oh, it's so cringy and eh, 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 and then sit where Josh is living. I, I got too much stuff to live there and shit like that. Like, dude, do you, are you questioning why we immediately think that you're trying to fucking run on Josh for fucking money and income she and is. get the fuck out of your house? She is. Yeah, you, you literally push us into thinking this because of shit like that, dude. The shit with the fucking Walmart guy, like again, very small, minor infraction compared to everything else, but. This fucking dude's a YouTuber, man. Somebody was psyched to fucking see him. You're going to shit on that? Do you see how she ruined so many opportunities for Josh? So now that person who has to take a picture that now shat on is going to tell everybody how horribly he was treated. It's, you know what I mean? That's just how it works. She doesn't care. Like, she doesn't care at all. Make it negative and make it fucking, you know? Ugh. I don't, that's, I don't like that. I don't like that as a viewer, as a friend, as a whatever. I don't like seeing that. I don't like the constant negativity, man. And maybe now, maybe you do need help. Maybe Josh can be that help. Maybe Josh is something that's going to be positive in your life to turn that around. Because I don't know how being that fucking nasty and upset 247 is a fucking comfortable way to live. I don't know. I question medications. And I don't know. There, there's got to be some sort of a diagnosis in which I'm absolutely fucking missing here. You're not even welcome now. You're a third wheel of cold. You're good. Stop it. Oh, that shouldn't have highlighted you. Don't listen to spuds whatsoever. <laughs> 
Don't listen at all. Okay. All right, guys. I just I'm seeing if Nal's live. The other night, you know, Josh and I, we had we did talk backstage after the fucking stream. And um, I, I don't want to put Josh in an uncomfortable situation when things, you know, I started to watch those videos that you guys kept fucking posting and clips of it. And that phone call fight and uh, just fucking tough watch, man. It was an absolute fucking touch. There's still a Nal video up from seven hours ago. It's eight minutes long. We'll go over there next, you guys. It is a tough watch. On a side note. Because I'm nosing around while I'm watching this. Pissy Poo is talking into the void at nobody about foodie beauty. I know. Just on yeah, It's hard. But Jessica, like, now. How, and that's another thing now. Like, the use of the R word and the N word and just throwing it around like crazy. Like, dude, this is, it's hard. It is very hard. And Josh has an entire community and fan base. And if you don't think for a second, dude, trolls are not, they're going to come with fucking pitchforks, bro. 100% they will. Well, you're going to see a fucking tenfold, dude. Just be fucking good to him. He's a good fucking guy. He has been nothing but a gentleman to you, spoiling you, taking good care of you, sending you things. Like, incredibly good dude to you. I have never seen, from again, what we have seen, him speak out. Uh, you yes, know. Carrie, earlier in a stream today, she said the N-word and then had to either private, I'm assuming she deleted it. But yeah, she's disgusting. And she said it before, Carrie, if you go back to like, when all this stuff was going down with Anthony cheating on her with like her internet best friend, um, she was going crazy and she was saying that word. I mean, she feels way too comfortable saying it. Nasty or rude or aggressive to you. Not once. Have any of us fucking seen that? This dude fucking streams 24 seven. If anything, he's been very protective of you too. Live streams when you're trying to pull your fucking tits out. He's gonna get a hundred K subscribers. Your first visit, dude, where you're trying to pull your shirt off? How do I not, how, how can you get mad at me for seeing that and not immediately assuming that you're trying to sabotage him? Why would you fucking do that? He had a fucking, the green fucking panties on for Valentine's Day a while back. <laughs> Remember the dance? <laughs> yeah, lost fucking his monetization very shortly after that. Yep. You got to strike from that. You're going to pop out your tits, dude, on his channel. Like horrible. He's passed yeah. out sleeping. You're still live streaming. Like, very calculated, yeah. in my opinion. Like, almost deliberate, dude. That's the part that concerns me, man. Josh's channel is fucking super important to him. He has spent years building it to what it is. To these Eric, I see you in the chat. The cold river. <laughs> that what it is. It is 100% him that is responsible for that. And it's all of us that are in side chats, that are in comments, that are in fucking subreddits, that are in Discord servers, that are literally around him. We're all here for him. And, and you're going to fucking just fuck around and do something wild to try to completely risk that? Like, do you not know why myself, as just a viewer, not uh, even a friend, are is pissed at you? It's it's so careless. It's so cold. It's so fucked up. It's mm -hmm. fucked up behavior. And if you are 39, dude, it's fucking fucked up grown-ass adult behavior. It, it, again, Harbinger, it, this is where, again, we, we keep... I saw that. Is that the one where he did carry the tiniest little moan I've ever heard? Where he's like, Ugh. like, it was like the weirdest, creepiest, tiniest little moan. Coming back around to that. No offense, Josh. And I'm I'm trying desperately to pull other areas of information in here. I love my Joshi. I love my Joshi. I love my Joshi. I'm hoping that is true. I hope you do. I hope it's not. I love my Joshi's viewer base. I love my Joshi's PayPal account. I love my Joshi's, you know, uh, exposure to other whatever. I, I really hope that that's not it. I love my Joshi's ability to get me out of my parents' house. Hundred percent. Hope that I am absolutely fucking wrong and even thinking there's one small iota of that to be true i really i really hope that i'm absolutely wrong please prove me fucking wrong in that please but right now whatever transpires after this none of this is josh's fault josh is not responsible for what comes out of my mouth hey, josh is not responsible for jessica messica josh is not responsible for fucking auntie jesse you should subscribe to both of them josh is not responsible for any of those fucking things dude it's not so he has no reason to be beaten up on or you raging on him about it whatsoever Carrie, I feel like whenever they're together again, she's really going to rage because she's been really building up and waiting to see him again. I feel like she's going to lose his channel and then she's going to have like a world of pain her way because um, the people who have been watching Josh for a long time, especially like the trolls and everything, I think they'll be pretty mad if he loses his channel. They could thank her for that. Joan, he's an eight-ish rager. I think he said Josh, he's right. I don't know, guys. I hope... We're going to see how things go, dude. And I don't think, um, 
it's very hard for me, dude. It's super hard for me. It's hard for me to, again, sit sit idly by when this is all going on. Um, and I have for a very long time and been super supportive of you now and very happy um, that you were on your way to meet Josh, very happy that he was happy. Um, it was great. I, I thought this is great, you know, but God damn, dude, boy, has this shit fucking spiraled. You wonder why Jessica Messica fucking hits the live button every, again, you're a hard watch of nonsense. It's again, not any insult to you about that. Just not my you bad. Think Josh, wait, I saw in the chat, you think Josh will stop talking to Courtney for now? I don't know. Do you guys think so? It's a long stream. Shit's going on. I hope not. She walked out of his room with her pants down, pulling them out. It's again, that TNT, when I saw her keeping the live on too, and then her going live, well, oh my God, it's passed out and shit like that, dude. Very, very fucking concerning, dude. Very concerning. It's just weird ass fucking behavior. It's super fucking weird behavior. I don't think she makes up lies to ruin people's life. She'll try to accuse her dad of I saw that. So I said that earlier, Pam, when uh, this is like one of the clips I saw in the last 24 hours where she's in the bathtub, pissing away her family's water for a very long time. I'm washing my face, but she was clothed in uh, sports bra and stuff. And then her dad came back in. Jason, and then he was you're here to oil my bread basket. Thank you so much. It needs it. It needs it. Did you happen to bring avocado oil, though? Something else? Your dad being a sicko, dude. How do you, you know what? Your dad can be a fucking douchebag, right? But again, can you understand how your viewers immediately are going to feel some kind of way? Because we probably all have, you know, uh, relationships with our fucking family and, and it's hard for us to digest and see that, man. You know, I would fucking flip out if Josh ever fucking said that about his father, dude. It'd be terrible. Jason, I'm assuming you heard about now, now told the internet that apparently I have a prostitution habit. Apparently I do. So when I end this live stream, I got to go hoe it up around town. By the way, if anybody's listening right now, $500 an hour. Wink, wink. Just kidding. <laughs> be absolutely fucking terrible, dude. She's banning the banning of fangirl Kate. Is she got banned too? Mm -hmm. Courtney, did you see her, her blind Billy a dunk drunk code on stream? <laughs> Stop it, Mike. <laughs> um, first of all, the blind Billy reference. Had she drawn? Oh my god! I no, I did not. I'm not aware of that whatsoever. I think uh, collectively, if anything, and Josh, again, if if anything you can take away from this is that you have a lot of fans that care about you. And I know, again, you can say you're right. I forgot about that, Matt. I'll just hit up Bali. She knows how to get me. Well, she, she I'll just hit Bali up. Bali, Bali. I need help with my prostitution issues. You, you know, your trolls and it's this and it's that, dude. And I understand you're a grown adult. And <laughs> moth to bark, it's not as much. <laughs> I understand Josh is a grown adult, and now he's got every right to be with you. He is a grown adult, and he can make up all these decisions on his own. And he doesn't need mom, or he doesn't need Courtney to mama bear him. Or, Shit, I'll bark for a Starbucks. Um, <laughs> come out here, and um, I'm gonna. I'm speaking to you as a fucking grown ass woman to another grown ass woman. You better fucking curb your behavior, dude. You need to curb your fucking behavior. You need to curb your behavior towards other content creators and YouTubers and or viewers who have been nothing but open and nice and invited you on said panel to come on with your boyfriend, not my boyfriend, your boyfriend. You had every right and welcome to come on it. You didn't want to. And I get it because, you know, big, bad, intimidating Courtney, whatever reasons, but for then you to just fucking haul off on some crazy ass fucking rant about Josh and Courtney and to have each other now, fuck that, whatever. I'm sorry, is Josh not allowed to have friends and female friends because again when you do behavior like that of isolating and trying to take said new relationship and to then turn everybody else around them away from them that is a very calculated tactic that abusive people do domestic violence victims suffer from those are a lot of things that they exactly do that mm -hmm. and next phone call you pick up josh and you know courtney is bad this is what courtney's done and courtney's done that right those are all things that Somebody who is trying to be manipulative and or controlling of somebody, they do. I'm not saying you're doing it. Just saying how. She's going to isolate him. That's what she's going to do. She's isolating him from people who care about him, who want to see him do well. She's going to ruin all his relationships with everybody. I think she'll even ruin his channel. And if he sticks around long enough and keeps letting her back, he's going to end up in jail with her hitting herself and the police being called. 
I'm telling you, all an officer has to do is pull up. And if she has visible marks on her and says, oh, he did this to me, it's going to be all bad. It might look to all of us, right? A lot of us that maybe have themselves, you have a lot of viewers or Josh has viewers that have been potentially either victims of DV or witnessed DV or had a friend that was a victim of any sort of abusive controlling relationship. Those are all things. We're all old people around here, man. A lot of old experienced people that are around here. For sure, it's going to be very hard for us to sit by and kind of see behavior like that. <clears throat> I'm worried for King Cobra. Now is so angry and unhinged. Do you think she will forbid him from speaking to you? Exactly what I'm saying. That tactic and that behavior is crazy. So she will forbid him. Like, we already know that. We saw when he was on panel with Courtney how, like, she was calling obsessively. Um, but do you think he'll really stop talking to her? Like, is getting laid really... I guess it's that important if you want to not go through a dry spell again. But shit, I'd go through a dry spell for the rest of my life if now was the only option. And the last time again, like I said, the one time that we got nuts was the Chaz shit. Remember Chaz was nuts. Exhumed visions got blocked. All of us just blocked, right? And that was Chaz, but, you know, he was promising fucking a crazy future of... He was just a fucking asshole, his whole dickhead. I am absolutely con like concerned, again, about any type of manipulative tactics. Josh is a smart dude, too. And this is the other thing, too. Like, I think a lot of you guys do not um, take that. Like, you don't give him enough credit, though, that he's a stubborn motherfucker, right? And he'll call bullshit when it's fucking bullshit. Where I don't think it'd be a, something, a situation like that. If, if Josh truly ends up being not happy, that he would stick around. I really mm -hmm. don't. It was frustrating me because at first, but actually it's been pretty well constructed for a play. I should have been more patient. It's tough, Carl. It's not, you know, you think about you guys have like a, you know, a friend, um, somebody you work with, an acquaintance or whatever that's in your, in whatever, in your, some orbit oh, that's out there. Oh, yeah. It's hard for you to just form opinions just based on from surface value what you see. Everything prior to me going live the other night, you know, it's Discord server links. It's, you know, a couple of video clips here and there. Um, it, it wasn't a lot. Of stuff that I've been able to watch um, and see until after that stream ended and I just went down a fucking rabbit hole and, and this was a lot of things that I watched that are it's not edited a lot of yeah like real things that we've heard it, it just even everything Josh aside dude you are a fucking mean mean angry woman mm. like so angry yeah maybe there's a lot of shit too now that I miss because I'm, I'm only watching like a, a lot of live streams get deleted and shit like that maybe I'm missing like the stream where i don't know you're out um you know someone told her now really likes the money but hates the people who really like josh walking old ladies across the street <laughs> maybe there's a there's streams that i'm missing where you do some fears man's uh random acts of kindness and you go into the fire department and you hand them some sodas here you go guys so that never happens she sits in a tub and drunk and rages all day at everybody and calls everybody every name in the book she literally doesn't do a damn thing for anybody but herself subscribe if you're new maybe i miss all those things maybe i haven't had a chance to see those clips or those things maybe i they pass on that just saying there could be right i will say too that again stretching and shit like that that people will reach for the cat shit that i saw of course i hated it it's an elderly cat i don't you know cats can be scruffed it's completely natural to scruff a cat 100 percent I never scruff my cats, scruff my cats. You want to know what cats I scruff? Are feral cats that I have in a trap that I'm trying to safely get out of the trap because yeah. they have their fucking claw embedded in one of the metal tongs on the top of it. That's when you scruff a cat. It's very hard. And again, I, you know, I don't want to get into cat shit with Chantel and Fruity Beauty. But you're not supposed to. Like, she's an animal lover. She, I think she rescues cats. I know she's a huge cat person. But just FYI, you're not supposed to just grab your cat at home by the scruff of the neck who's not a kitten anymore. Like if it's a feral cat and you're doing a rescue, that's another thing. But just to anybody out there, even if you're getting a cat, once it's not a kitten anymore and you shouldn't be doing it really anyways, like you're not the mom kitten. So just don't do it. And you shouldn't be throwing your cat or threatening it with a belt or a squirt bottle. Um, none of that. Okay. Animals, it's your responsibility to protect them and love them and take care of them. And if you can't find somebody else who can and the abuse and neglect I see of cats in North Carolina since living here is nuts to me. But I just, again, it's it's very hard to see you be aggressive with your cat. I don't think you were hurting your cat. You were scruffing your cat. Completely natural, completely okay to scruff your cat. But just not something that, yeah, I, I would scruff my elderly cat. I wouldn't. 
I, I think too, I read a lot of you guys that were making comments about it, like, yeah, you know, this is kind of a reach. This is a, you know, we're kind of coming down on her about something that is totally normal to do. <laughs> not normal, though. It's not. I, again, that's what I'm saying, White Pony. For myself, you know, I, I would never, I, I wouldn't. Don't normalize it. Do you guys at home who have cats, cats, do you grab it by its neck, the scruff of the neck, or do you carry it? <laughs> or let it do its own damn thing and not annoy it and bother it like Nal does? Scruff my cats that aren't elderly. I would never scruff you my cats. You don't do it. Even oh. when we're clipping their nails and or giving them a bath and the street is mauling me, I would never ever. So I, I, I don't blame you guys for being super upset by it. Oh my God, there's so many out here. All right, guys. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't want to be, uh, I hope naked and laughing now. I hope you are accepting and welcoming to Josh's online community that he has, like myself and other people that are in his world. Um, there are Fellinis that are out there, Sasha's, you know, Josh does have a lot of people that are in his world that I hope you're welcoming to and that you're okay with being a part of. Fandral Kate is a female that cares a lot about Josh and looks out for Josh. Courtney now was telling her she before she met Josh. She was Carrie. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? That That's part right there, she was antagonizing. Like, I know my dog hates to be blown on. In fact, like, so I just don't do it. But animals in general don't want you. Like, you might have the rare dog or cat who thinks it's fun. But, like, for in general, or, like, and cats are more independent anyways than dogs. Like, you can't make it stay on, you can't make your cat stay on your lap, hold it there, annoy it, do whatever the F you want. Eventually, the animal's going to get pissed off and let you know. Ollie gave her several signs. If your animal's growling at you, stop whatever you're doing, okay? It means they don't like it. It means they don't feel safe. That's, again, super, stop it, Gary. <laughs> That's super concerning, dude. Did she make money off of it? She didn't. Somebody bought her ticket to get out there, right? Somebody bought her ticket to get out there. I don't. <laughs> I know. I understand, but I don't think that you're picking up your cat and throwing it like Nell does. In fact, I know you didn't. So there must have been a reason, but it's just generally not a great thing to do. Like, especially if it's not a kitten anymore. Um, it actually can hurt the cat if you're not doing it right and you're it, which most people don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna close with one of these. I grandma, I wish um it's still my favorite that I can't not not play because it's still my favorite. But I feel like I play it all the time though, right? It's still it's the best one though. It's such the best one. We gotta end with something positive because it's been a rough go. I appreciate you guys and again you guys that are new around here, it's cringy, right? You got some fucking weird lady, cringy. you know, some weird fat old lady that plays Pokemon Go way too much and plays video games that is on here trying to preach. Ew, Courtney is, I'm not calling you an old lady, but Hugh, Hugh, Courtney likes Pokemon Go too. I still don't understand the point of it, but I know you really like it and it's supposed to be fun. Weird on YouTube. I give a shit about this dude. I care about Josh. I care about his channel. I care about him hitting 100K subscribers. It's going to be fucking great. It's going to be awesome. Like, what a fucking milestone. So, dude, yeah, don't fucking put your tits on his channel, dude. Don't be a crazy person and attack him for all of this that's coming out of my mouth. Thanks for watching Court Dog. That's right. Court Dog is going to juicy beats, buds. It's fun to be fresh with your comments. All right, guys. This was basically it. We missed, like, the first 37 minutes, but um, she's a talker like me, so it took her a while to, like, really get into it. That's, I think I actually like her because of that. All right, you guys, we're going to play this eight-minute... Um, stream from now if she says a certain word and the stream suddenly gets deleted you know why because i'm not keeping it up for that and it's just not something i'm going to have on here but bear with me for a second i don't think she says it in this i don't think so hmm oh crap no i don't want to go to my videos i know what they look like i want to go to that video over there hold on you guys Hold on. I'm getting there. All right. I think this is like a whole eight minutes. Let's pull it up. All right. Let me get ready to share this screen. I've never seen anyone blow in a cat's face either. It's wild. She was just being an asshole, like just an asshole to her cat who didn't want her attention, didn't want to be in her company. Um, I don't know. You should... If the cat's a senior cat and she supposedly loves it so much, why are you causing it stress? Everything she supposedly loves in her life, 
she terrorizes. She supposedly loves Josh, but she's doing every damn thing possible to drag him down to where she's at. Supposedly she loves her cat, yet she violently throws it. I, She's a piece of shit. I, I'm sorry. I don't care. She's a piece of... I care about the cat. I'm saying I don't care that I'm calling her a piece of shit because in my opinion, um, her and Foodie Beauty are equal. Sometimes now's a little bit worse, but I don't F with animal abusers and I think that they get everything that they deserve in life. Or I hope that they do anyways. Starting off strong. F you too. I'm going to speed her up a little. Lord have mercy. I don't know what the top part is supposed to be. What is that supposed to say? I don't know, but basically, if you're a parent, you have nieces, nephews, whatever, you know. That you could buy children bath crayons and <laughs> they could draw on the walls during bath time. And it's actually kind of great because it's fun for them and it kind of, I don't know, it's just fun. It's a fun experience. However, this is a grown ass woman <laughs> with her bath crayons and her parents, Todd, making a mess of their bathroom. I know for a fact that's a rainbow. I just don't know what the rest of it is supposed to be. I don't know if that's an acorn or a sword. I don't know. Oh, you're so worried about, oh, that's so difficult, oh, my, but whatever. Well, no, I'm going to bed here soon. I'm going to bed here in a few minutes. I don't give a fuck. I learned don't give a fuck or shit about fucking nobody. <laughs> there's Crayola, there's like off brands. You could get them at Walmart for really cheap, like, but she's living her best life with her little bath time crayons. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She doesn't know she can make it all complete and just go get some rubber duckies at the Dollar Tree. There you go. Live your best life. It doesn't matter when you fucking got Chatterbait fucking whores. Oh, here we go. Over. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's no one talking. Like there's one comment in her chat and we're two minutes and 30 seconds in. <laughs> she blocks everybody. Hi, by the way, if you want to watch now and she blocked you, feel free to hang out with us. I don't know. I'm going to bed. Uh, I can't right now. I'm, just, I'm going to bed. Have a good night. I bet beautiful regret. I will self-deprecate at any given chance of my life. I will do it before anyone else can because my whole life I've told I'm so fucking ugly. I don't give a fuck. You're not going to change my fucking mind. I will self-deprecate before anyone. No, I'm ugly. I'm born ugly. I know I'm ugly. That's why I've never heard a man. Because they will literally take the ugliest fucking Demogorgon fucking cunt before me. That's how ugly I am. Oh, you don't get to tell me otherwise, bitch. 
You don't wow. fucking get to tell me otherwise. Literally, nobody's in her chat calling her ugly. Just FYI, like not a single person that I see. You get to tell me otherwise. You do not get to fucking tell me otherwise. When I've been told my whole life by fucking oh no man whoever whoever you want you want to marry okay you you do not get to tell me I know it just I just remembered I'm sorry her streams blur into one when I did check in earlier I think they were trolling her and telling her that Josh said she was ugly and she was having like a whole thing about it it's the opposite when I've been told my whole fucking oh uh, yeah, my brain doesn't work that way no it doesn't work that way thank you no. You're not going to treat me like a fucking toy. I'm not your fucking dog. Thank you. I'm a human. Thank you. I'm a human being. I'm a human being. Bless. Honestly, Eric, I truly like don't feel bad for her if people do call her ugly now after everything that she said, after saying the N word, throwing around the R word, she used the F slur. Um, yeah, I see, call her ugly some more, I guess. That's how I fucking checked. Last time I checked, I'm a fucking human being. I I, I don't get to pick and choose how I'm fucking yeah. Literally, after this stream, I'm not going to be on on anything. I'm not going to be on Josh's. I'm not going to be on mine. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't care. I know I'm worth this. I know I'm worth shit. I'm a fucking faggot demogorgon. I know I'm worth this. I don't care. You, you can pretend to fake send your crystals and and I'll pretend to fake get them and do a fake video on them. Like all the other people that have pretended to fake send me shit since like December, January. And it's now fucking April. I will fake pretend to open your gifts. Oh, this is what so-and-so wish they... Yeah, that's fine. Don't pretend to send me shit months and months later. Not. I just had the most random ass thought. Sorry, it's a very like bad ADHD day for me. <laughs> some days I can hide it really well and some days I just can't. But like I had this random thought. So she was a cam girl like at one point, right? I don't know if she's still doing that. Imagine like finding her or like watching a video on Prawn Hub or whatever and you watch this video and you think she's one way and then randomly one day you're scrolling on YouTube. <laughs> And you find that cam girl or that actress that you saw. I don't know. I just had a random ass thought. Like, that would be so weird. That would be so weird. Uh, don't do it to me. I don't care what you're doing. Whether it's for yourself or somebody else. Don't do it to me. If you cannot fulfill the... Uh, don't do it to me. But none of y'all can do that. None of y'all When she does those weird ass voices, I'm wondering if she's like huffing off camera when she takes like a two second. I don't know. I don't know. It's just I've seen a lot. And you know that voice people make, how their voice changes after they use that duster? It's just I'm realizing it and I'm seeing it more and more now that like the chat pointed it out. She's going to kill herself in that tub with all the shit she's doing. You found her videos? <laughs> Wait, Satan, did you find them on Jessica Mesca's other channel, though? Because that's where it was posted. But did you actually found her videos? Is she sober in them? Like, I don't know. I would find a hard time, like, enjoying one of her videos, if you know what I mean. I have a really hard time. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't lay down for it. I don't want to lay down to that. 
no, nope, I want to lay down and want to shop and go to bed. I'm not going to respond to none. So if I don't respond to you on Facebook or whatever, that, like, you're either a scam to me or whatever. I, I'm, I'm not... I, I, I get so many fucking Instagram requests a day. And so many people fuck me over on a deep Gargan mm-hmm. basis. I, I hate people. I fucking hate people. I hate everybody. We hate you too. I hate everyone. I hate it. I don't want to deal with nobody. I don't care if I make anything off. I'll delete that seat. I don't make nothing off of this shit. I'll delete you don't? Were his trolls sending you money and stuff? My Instagram, YouTube, I don't make nothing off of that shit either. Update. Pumpkin said it looks like Chantal deleted her PayPal from her channel. <laughs> After she got caught scamming, maybe they um, banned her on PayPal. Oh, five cents. Five cents for every troll con. No. That'll get me nowhere in life. That'll get me to where I could have been a 17 year old. What I should have been earning as a 17 year old. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude, you just sounded like pistachio. That's fine. All of you delete me from your profiles. I'm not going to read none of your shit. Babylon said she deleted it, but she was vomiting for 20 minutes straight, went quiet for like 40, and snapped back and yelled at all the people worried that she passed out in the tub. So maybe that is the part where I was like briefly paying attention. But, like, I'm starting to think she's faking the passing out so she can look at the chat and get people worried. I'm just really realizing more and more how, like, manipulative she is and calculated. I think she loves people worrying about her because if they call Josh to call her, then that means she gets to have his attention and Courtney doesn't or whoever else or his trolls. Only Josh gives me the... Oh, because people think the utmost of me. Oh, Dusty, I love you at your screamiest. Oh, but then when you, oh, okay. Literally, I'm a nobody to nobody. I, I don't care. I'm going to end this. You are I'm a gonna nobody. End it. I'm going to delete it. I'm a nobody. I've known I'm a nobody my whole life, and you're not going to fucking tell me otherwise. You're right. You know what? I was saying you're a nobody, but you're not because people are watching. You are the new Chantal. People are just watching to see how the train wreck ends. That's literally all this is. So good night. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Look at her description. Bye. I'm so glad so many people had a fucking... Yeah, bye. I know I'm worthless. You don't have to start a company to tell me. You're you're literally wasting your money. (laughs) Bye. Bye. She ends it, you guys. She ends it. So this is what we can do. I'm going to be up for a while. So if she goes live again, we can snipe her. (laughs) Just type, oh, no, you're beautiful, Jessica, enough, and she will trust you. I believe it. It's all about the money. So hold on. You said in her um, social or in her description, she has her payment information. Well, I believe it because she's not monetized. She got banned, right? So she had to create the Queen Cobra channel. So she's not making anything from YouTube, but I bet you she gets paid. So like, obviously people are into this shit show. So I believe she probably gets donations to go online, just like how Foodie used to, right? Hold on. I'm going to check her um, description. Just let me pull it up. do 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 I wish Foodie's comments weren't off. That'd be interesting to go look at. But hold on, I'm finding what's her face. I don't know. By the time I get to it, you guys are probably already looking at it on your phone. (laughs) I'll get there eventually. I'll get there eventually. I'm seeing all my subscriptions. And then I'm like, oh, I haven't watched that video yet. And then meanwhile, I just need to go to what's her faces. Here we go. All right, let me pull her 
channel up on my screen. Yeah, and a handful of drug-induced mental issues. She had her PayPal in her description since before Joshi. But she can't say she's not making anything because I know people are sending her stuff. People were sending her booze. People were sending her pills. People send her food. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm not really doing what I thought I was going to do. Where does it say it, Hugh? Hmm. I don't know. It's probably on there somewhere and I'm just not seeing it. But either way, we know she gets donations. <laughs> you guys, actually, hold on. I want to end with a song. That's what I want to do. Have you guys heard the Sciatica Ache song? <laughs> I know if you were the stream last night, you did. But... Dang Fupa put out this Foodie Beauty song, and it's actually really, really good. I'm, like, more and more impressed with that channel every time I watch. Hold on. I got to scroll through all my Alkaline Trio songs. <laughs> Give me one second. There's so much that's gone on in the past 24 hours, you guys, and I'm so grateful with all the people fighting. We're just over here minding our own business and having fun. All right. I got to play this song before we go. Everybody get your lighters out or hold up your cell phone if you don't have a lighter. <laughs> or ask somebody in the chat to borrow one. I'm sure one of us have one. Oh my gosh, I love this song. It's so freaking good. It's so good. All right, hold on. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. It's a good song, whoever did it. It's Well, Dang Fupa put it out. I'm assuming they did it. They're beyond talented. All right, everybody, get ready for your new favorite song. If I could get it to freaking play. Oh, I forgot to speed it up. Are you serious? This is so anticlimactic. <laughs> like, just play. Play. And then I took us to Jessica's intervention. I just want to play the damn Food of Beauty song, okay? Does this count as a breezy blonde moment, you guys? <laughs> I'm trying to pull up a damn song, and I'm pulling up everything else. All right, let's 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 try this one more time. I'm so grateful you guys still want to hang out with me, because I don't know if I would. <laughs> I don't know if I would. All right, let's try this again. It'd be great to just play. Nope. Now Courtney wants to come back up. Damn this! You. This is why I just need to use my new laptop. I, I'm suddenly remembered, remembering why uh, I got a new one, and this one needed to die. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, it comes up eventually. It really wants me to watch this Jessica intervention one. I love you too, Mrs. Carlet. I love you too. I have the best audience and the best subscribers and the best members. I really do. Hold on. Hugh's sending me something. Hugh, you cannot distract me right now. Oh, it does show her cash app. Okay. Hold on. Nobody distract me. I got to get to this video. <laughs> I got to get to this video. That's crazy though. She has her cash app, PayPal, and she has a cameo. I wonder if anybody um, requests a cameo. That'd be interesting to look into and cover it one day. Oh my gosh. Satan, if um, you want to know how much I watch your channel, like I have all your shorts up. <laughs> Literally all of them. Okay. Yes. Yes. We might get it to play. We might. And we are. I love it here too. I honestly like, I feel like I'm hanging out with a little family. I feel like we've all hung out long enough. A lot of you guys have been with me since the beginning. A lot of people are new too, but like we hang out together so much. It just feels, are you effing kidding me? Are you effing kidding me? <laughs> it seriously keeps going back to that video. No matter what I do, it wants me to play Jessica's intervention. No matter what I do. I know what I'm clicking on. This is hilarious. Oh my God. 
Thank freaking baby Jesus, you guys. <laughs> okay. With the raging the strife <laughs> in the digital realm, she leads the tears in the light. With a camera rolling and a chip on the shoulder, she shares her world, getting fatter and older. Gravy and poutine, her culinary delight. I love this. But behind the screen, there's a diabetic fight. I was gonna end with chicken in the water, but I feel like I can't take the boom, 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 boom right now. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'll keep a lookout. Like I said, I'm gonna be up for a bit. So if now it goes live again, so will we. If I don't see you in a little while, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, it's probably already tomorrow for you guys. But anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It was a fun time as always. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. Thank you to my mods. Thank you to the Breezy Bunch members. Thank you for everybody who um, did the super chats and the memberships. I really appreciate you. Welcome to all my new subscribers and to the people hanging out in the chat. Like you can always hang out here. We're not going to block you unless you're really rude. But anyways, thank you even for just liking this stream. I'll see you guys soon. Bye everybody.